let's just count Luo Zhang as a variable for the initial step. No, the most important thing in this dream battlefield is the battle for the top position. It is just the beginning. But, right away you will see more than just the name. Is the dream battlefield over? How is it? Did you find Luo Zhang? Found him. There he is. Right into the 13th. Huh? Why is there a woman by Luo Zhang's side? Do you recognize her? Her name is Eleven Yu Qing. She belongs to the same great realm as me. Damn it. She actually passed the elimination stage and met with Luo Zhang. But I can only watch from here. What? They both came from the realm you've ascended to? Is it that amazing? Look at the warrior who carries the sword from the left to the 16th. His name is Hua Tianming, and he comes from the same world as me. Speaking of which, he is still a disciple of my Cloud Palace. I remember her saying that the Cloud Palace she was in was only a 6th grade sacred ground, yet it had produced two martial artists who could enter the top 300 of the dream battlefield. It's incredible. But she seems to be quite unhappy with the woman beside Luo Zheng. Sisters, look. That should be Luo Zheng. They finally reunited. Naturally, although there's no such thing as a supreme talent in our purple extreme realm, Yu Qin has become a supreme talent now. How could the man she had in her eyes be less powerful than her? Yu Qin still has nice eyes. That guy is handsome. The top 10 rewards of the dream battlefield are these 10 divine spark plates. I will personally place them in your Dantian. Wow. It's truly a dream battlefield. The rewards are really extraordinary. With the Divine Spark Plate, one is able to develop a divine character that transcends the Heavenly Tao, laying the foundation for future achievement of the true God. As for the top three among you, of course there will be another reward. At the same time, I also warn you that with the reward, you will also bear a heavier fate. Dear children, please step on to the chess pieces. For you 300 martial artists, this head-to-head -head battle is the final stage of the dream battlefield. But for me, it is in the variables and fixed numbers, presuming the secret of this round of Yen Era. The great crisis that occurred in Yen Era was a violent game played by the heavens and the earth in this universe. A game of chess with trillions of life form as pawns. It's just that even I don't know where the crisis will erupt from. Therefore, I have to gather the most outstanding supreme talents to play a game against each other and do some deductions in advance so that I can know the crisis that is about to erupt. The competition has officially begun. Shea Clan Fighter Yudi the two can fight against each other, only decide the outcome. It will not about life and death. The first battle is actually mine. Really, I only came here for Luo Zhang. I haven't even talked to him yet. But I was chosen first, and it's like catching a duck on a shelf. Yu Qing, go for it. For the sake of Luo Zheng cheering me on, I'll probably fight. All right, I will do it. Eleven Yu Qing still seems to have no will to fight, no different than she was back then. How did she get to this point in the dream battlefield in such a state? I didn't expect that the first battle will be against a woman with no fighting spirit. So... I'll just have to exert two or three-tenths of my strength, but as the son of the great chief of the 36,300th generation, I must show my power. The Shea Clan is only a second-rate race in the universe, supported only by a single heavenly venerate. But each generation of us Shea builds up momentum for the next. This time I'll make a name for myself and revive the Shea. By the power of our ancestors, bless the Shea. Hayaya. This, that's scary, let's use the sword formation to block it. What? Purple Jade Heart. How in the world did this woman get to this point? Just look at her. She's not even as good as a Bejanir disciple of the 10th grade Holy Land. Yeah. Even though I've been lucky enough not to have fought against the best, where did her points come from? What's wrong with little sister? She seems to have some stage fright. But if this continues, she will lose under three moves. She had to go fight in a hurry. Maybe little Chin also needs to adapt to it. 
This woman's sword array is not that good, but the speed at which she runs away is amazing. But now, you can't escape. With your strength, it's better to just surrender. Done. Little Purple River Sword Formation My goal in the dream battlefield was to see Luo Zheng, so I didn't want to fight anyone, but now it's useless to just give in. Master said it doesn't matter whether I get a place or not. I just need to try my best. But if I get eliminated in the first round, it would be a disgrace to her. Little Purple River Sword Formation This is the first time I'm using this sword formation and I don't know if I can win. Yu Qin, do you know that although the purple and red sword formation is powerful, it can be practiced by any woman with a purple extreme yin body? However, apart from this general sword formation, there are three other destructive sword formations in the purple realm. One of them is the little purple river sword formation, which can only be cultivated by a third grade purple extreme yin body. There are 4,200 people in the purple extreme realm who can cultivate this formation. The next one is the Heaven and Earth Falling Swords Formation, which can only be cultivated by a second grade purple pole in body. And there are more than so people in the purple pole realm who can cultivate this formation. And finally, the most powerful of all, the Slaying God Sword Formation. It's the mantle of the true God who founded the purple extreme realm. So far, the only person qualified to be given this mantle is you, and only you alone have succeeded in cultivating it. MHM this sword formation seems to be completely different from the one just now. This power seems to contain infinite killing intent. In the name of my ancestors, bless me. These light points are the souls of countless ancestors of the Shea Clan, accumulated over generations of the Shea Clan. I will use the power of my ancestors to strengthen my body and power to the extreme. A mere sword formation. I can break it. Master told me that it's impossible to break the Little Purple River sword formation with brute force. But this guy just came up to me. Change formation, Cyclone. This, I don't believe I can't break this sword formation. Ancestor Devotion. Hiya. Sweep away. You. You can admit defeat. I didn't lose. My ancestors are with me. Then, let's change the formation again. Seven Sinking Stars First Round, Purple Extreme Realm 11 Yu Qing wins. This first game was simply inexplicable. The woman ducked and first hid, but instantly killed Yudi with her backhand. Perhaps this woman has exceptional talent, but no martial heart. So, why did she even come to this dream battlefield? You do you go back first this stage of the battle doesn't directly eliminate the opponent. What a powerful technique. My Yu Qin already possesses such power. That's not even my real strength. You'll find out later. For the second round, Demon Warrior New Fong against Human Warrior Bing Chuan. Hiya. Demon Warrior New Fong wins. Is this the supreme talent of the human race? A mere tribe of humans, who have proclaimed themselves masters of the world, are nothing but a collection of tiny ants. They are nothing to be feared. Demon Warrior New Fong Against Human Warrior Xian Yuan Chen Fong It's my turn again? Xian Yuan Chen Fong wins. That's the power of a Daozi who can kill an opponent with a single blow. For the next round, Demon Warrior New Fong against Terran Warrior Dugu Jin Xiao Xiao. Three times in a row. She's targeting me. Luckily, my opponent is a bit more normal this time, so I can still win. Immeasurable demonic brilliance. This time I'm going to strike first. Dugu Jiangxi Axia wins. It was another one move that killed him in seconds. The demons have lost a lot of face this time. That means... Although Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao is a supreme talent, he has the strength to fight a Daozi. It's all because of that iron sword of his. For this round, Demon Warrior New Fong against Human Warrior Luo Zhang. Why a human warrior again? And why me again? In the previous two battles, the opponents were too weird. Hopefully, this guy is normal. Although Luo Zhang is very famous, no one really knows the depth of his strength. 
I need to be more cautious. This time, I'm not looking for any merit, but rather, for nothing. Demon Heart Drum Demonic Brilliance Body Protection Demonic Brilliance Rushing Wind Ah, here he comes. It's my first time in battle, and I don't know what this heaven and earth chessboard is made of. It seems to be used to simulate a world in the universe. With such a simulation, could it be that the future situation of the universe will evolve according to the result of today's competition? Brother Luo Zhang is about to make a move. Come on. Hiya. Well, I don't think New Phone should have joined the dream battlefield this time. That kid's punch didn't even urge any genuine energy, but it still need him. Tear him apart. New Phone, you are the supreme talent of our demon race. How can you be so afraid of something? Damn it. I can't let the first two defeats mess with my mind. There's no genuine energy in that punch of his. It shouldn't be able to smash open my demonic brilliance body protection. If my all dragon scales are completely activated, it should be enough to kill him. But this is my first time after all. My bodily strength is my weapon of choice and revealing it this early is a bit unwise. One thought without a turn. Damn it. This guy's cheating. Luo Zhang wins this battle. According to the rumors, isn't Luo Zhang a sword cultivator? Why the sudden switch to a spear? That spear seems to be the Demon Knight Clan's Holy Spear of Slaughter. Why is the most destructive weapon in the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument in his hands? Speak. What's going on? In my king. The Holy Spear of Slaughter was accidentally snatched by Luo Zhang. The Holy Spear that is being projected to the Dream Battlefield is nothing more than an illusion. It's just that you're not up for it. You didn't even get into the top 300 of the dream battlefield. This subordinate is aware of his mistakes. In this dream battlefield, the two groups of Monster Knight clan who supported me were almost wiped out. Only one Daozi cultivated by the King of Life entered the top 100. But after all, it was not one of mine. You're dismissed. Yes. This friend, please return the Holy Spear of Slaughter to my Demon Knight clan. It is a sacred object of my demon knight clan. Just because this spear is a sacred object of your clan, I should return it to you? MHM. This spear belongs to the demon knight clan. You can return it if you're not one of us. I copied this holy spear of slaughter with the imprint, and I wanted to give it to Soon as a surprise. But this woman wants me to return it. How could I possibly return it to her? Are you an idiot? This Holy Spear of Slaughter is just a projection from the Dream Battlefield. It's not the real Holy Spear of Slaughter. Of course I know it's a projection. But I know better, you've been to the Hall of Cause and Effect. This Holy Spear of Slaughter has been imprinted and can be taken out. And you're really going to give it to Sun? This Demon Knight Clan woman's reaction is very strange. Usually when a demon knight clan member mentions one of the three kings, they would address them by king. Even if it was an assassin sent by Yao. But she dares to call Sun by her real name? Who is she? Although I took this holy spear from your demon knight clan warriors. It was originally Sun's possession. So, I will naturally hand it over to her. Who do you think you are? Why should I give it to you? There will come a time when we will cross paths again. And you will return it to me at that time. Who is this woman? And what does that mean? Brother, don't you know this woman? She is the Daozi of the Demon Knight Clan. Ching Yu. Ching Yu? Why have I never heard about such a person in the Yaoya Clan before? Indeed. This Daozi called Ching Yu is very strange. Before, the Demon Knight clan did not have a Daozi with a Mahayana Lotus blooming like her. This woman practically appeared out thin air. Out of thin air? The cultivation of a Daozi requires considerable amount of money and other financial resources. I had never heard of such a Daozi in the Demon Knight clan a few years ago. But she suddenly appeared now. As natural as coming out of thin air star. So, that's it. 
Regardless of who she was, it sounded like she was planning to force me to return the Holy Spear of Slaughter to her during the battle. But a match on the chessboard of heaven and earth won't endanger my life. What does she plan on using to force me to give away the Holy Spear? Beast martial artist Tim Wu was defeated. He is out of the competition. In the 34th round, a warrior was finally eliminated on the field. I just found out that the elimination is not only related to the outcome of the duel, but also the outcome of this game of chess. When a piece is placed on the board, if it's an alive piece, it does not matter whether it wins or loses the match. But if your piece is a dead piece, or even a piece of dead piece, you can't lose, and you will be eliminated if you lose. Next match. Celestial Clan, Luo Shishuan. The Daozi of the Celestial Clan must not be simple. Everyone knows how strong the clan is. Brother Tianming, that Daozi's Mahayana Lotus has fully bloomed, and her understanding and application of Dao is far beyond comparison. Not to mention that she belongs to the Celestial Clan. Hua Tianming's opponent for the first battle is a bit tricky. This Hua Tianming is really unlucky. As soon as he strikes, it's a situation of elimination. Yeah. The other party is the beloved child of the Celestial Clan. The Daughter of Lightning. The Daughter of Lightning? Indeed. Luo Shishuan's origins are extremely bizarre. There is a realm in the universe called the Profound Lightning Realm, and this realm is filled with violent lightning. What's more is that a terrifying profound lightning holy beast lived in that realm, and sometimes broke out of it to scourge the surrounding realms. Eighty million years ago, the six heavenly venerates sealed the profound lightning beast with the most powerful demon sealing destiny in the world. No one else has been able to enter the profound lightning realm ever since. However, just 22 years ago, this seal was destroyed by a three-year-old girl. What's even more amazing is that she's from an unknown background and has neither father nor mother. Realizing the girl's extraordinary strength, many races waged a battle over the girl. She ended up in the hands of the Celestial Clan and they named the girl Luo Shishuan. Although there was no news about Luo Shishuan after that but as the most powerful character in the younger generation of the Celestial Clan. How could she be weak? Now it's up to Brother Tianming on how he responds. Celestial Clan, Luo Shishuan. Jianlong Pavilion. Hua Tianming. Tianlong Pavilion? Is this the current sect of Brother Tianming? Is he really fated with the sword? This sword, it's not meant for you. If you have the strength, you could force me to pull out this sword. What does Hua Tianming mean? He is facing a Daozi, and a Daozi of the Celestial Clan on top of that. This guy. What kind of confidence does he have to say such things to Luo Shishuan? When the martial artists of the same generation met me, most of them avoided me and regarded me like a monster. This Hua Tianming is rather challenging. Maybe he won't treat me like other people. Is that so? Are you going to let me make you draw your sword? This sounds like fun. MHM. You can make your move. Then I'll be happy to help. That is the profound thunder god Tao Essence. That Sanskrit book page. It seems to bear a striking resemblance to the page that once changed my fate. At first I thought it was the divine flame cauldron that built my body, but the green dragon told me that what really built my body was the Sanskrit page. Whenever I encountered a true fire, the mantras transformed into countless golden vortexes that helped me absorb the power of true fire and forge myself. But where did the golden Sanskrit pages come from? Why does it work like that? Even Green Dragon doesn't have a clue to these questions. Right now this woman also owns such a similar page. But the pages of her book are in the form of a thunderbolt, and I'll have to ask her about it sometime. However, the battle between her and Hua Tianming is an elimination battle, and only one person can remain. If she loses, I am afraid I will have to visit the Celestial Clan. Such a strong thunder god Dao Essence. Even if it's me, there is no perfect chance of victory. This Hua Tianming is probably just showing off I bet he won't even survive a single move, just like Nufong. 
Unfortunately, he lost after all, and it doesn't do him any good to brag about it. Still not making a move? I understand. Ten directions lightning. If you don't draw your sword, it'll be too late. Your law of lightning is very strong, and the Dao Yan contained within it has already reached a point beyond the scope of this round of the universe. The essential difference between a Daozi and a supreme talent is the Dao Yun. But you seem to rely too much on the Dao Yan. If you take away your Dao Yan, your strength will be greatly diminished. For others, Dao Yun is almost impossible to stop, but your Dao Yun is nearly ineffective against me. No wonder Hua Tianming was so confident. He has actually comprehended the ultimate sword intent in the past few years. He didn't seem to have urged the sword intent at all, but rather the sword intent overflowed by itself. The ultimate sword intent becomes a kind of limit in the universe. And to advance to that one point means to cross this round of heavenly Tao. In a way, Hua Tianming could also be counted as an existence of Daozi. It's only been a few years since I've seen Brother Tianming, and I don't even know what kind of opportunities he's experienced to make such progress. They're both at the same divine sea realm as us, but when they're fighting each other, they burst forth with world-destroying strength. It was almost unthinkable in the past. Phew. The more powerful they are, the more severe this round of crisis will be. I heard from the Green Dragon that the reason why the Great War of the Worlds gave birth to powerful geniuses was because of the universe's self-protection mechanism. When the Heavenly Tao senses the approaching crisis, the speed and intensity of the birth of geniuses will be greatly increased. But what exactly is this crisis? This guy's name is Hua Tianming, right? That's right. Although the Jinlong Pavilion is famous for their sword Dao and there are some supreme talents there, I had never heard of the name Hua Tianming. So, I did not expect him to be so powerful. Sure enough. Sending Hua Tianming to participate in the dream battlefield was the right decision. I thought that with his strength he would be able to have a better ranking among the various supreme talent, but I didn't expect him to be able to compete against the Daozi. Reporting The Patriarchs of the Ji Family Xin Yuan Family, Ji Family, and the Lai Family have gathered outside the Gate of the Holy Land, asking Hua Tianming to be included in their family and to discuss specific matters with you. I know. What's due has come at last. The Sword Cloud Realm borders the Xin Yuan family's territory, and I suppose the area can be considered as half the territory of our Xin Yuan family. Now that you have a genius like Hua Tianming on your side, can you let him join our family? We, the Xin Yuan family, will pay you handsomely. It just happened to be on the edge of your family's territory. But you claim that it's included in your sphere of influence? My Ji family has had many sons and daughters cultivate here, and in history, there have been many Jinlong Pavilion masters from my family. So if the Jinlong Pavilion produces talents, we should be the first to pick them. You can't say all the words by yourself. Our Ji family's children have also been the disciples and masters at the Jinlong Pavilion in terms of origin. It is no worse than Ji family and Xin Yuan family. We have a lot of contact with Jianlong Pavilion, and we are also qualified to invite Hua Tianming to join. It looks like they'll be fighting for a while. If I were to accept or reject any family without permission, whether it's these families or Hua Tianming himself, I won't be able to explain. Let's wait for the dream battlefield to end and let Hua Tianming decide for himself. Since the Ten Directions Lightning has no effect on you. Let me try this. Be careful. Unexpectedly, Luo Shishuan was able to completely shroud herself with lightning and turn into a form similar to that of a lightning law creature. The creatures of the laws of the lightning are almost all incarnations of lightning itself. They come and go at the speed of light. Thus, Hua Tianming has no time to react. In this state, Luo Shishuan should be invincible. After covering herself with lightning, her speed is extremely fast indeed. If I use the power of the five elements, there are methods of restraint. But it is not an easy task. You can't catch up with my speed, and even if you draw your sword now, it will be futile. I held back just now. 
but next time, if you still don't draw your sword, then there really is no chance. That instant speed is very fast indeed. That must be the purple underworld lightning body from the profound thunder god Divine Tao. You. How do you know that? There are very few people who have ever embarked on the Divine Tao, and each of them has a different path. I am the only one who understands the profound thunder god Divine Tao. Even the patriarch of the celestial clan could not give me an advice, yet why does he know the name of the profound truth? But you've only just become a Daozi after all. And the purple underworld lightning body can't break through the rapidity of this universe. I may not be able to keep up. This Hua Tianming is probably crazy. Unless, he, himself is also covered by lightning. It is impossible to catch up to her instant speed. Not necessarily. If you ask me, I'm just curious as to what method he will use to break Luo Shishuan's trick. However, you do have the power to make me draw my sword. Great. So, it's over. Huh? She can take care of Hua Tianming with one move. What's she dawdling about? Strange. With my speed, it's impossible for Hua Tianming to keep up. But from the very beginning, I had a weird feeling. It's as if I am being firmly stared at by Hua Tianming. No matter how fast my speed is. This guy's eyes always seem to be pinned on me. That's why I didn't dare to approach him. No. This move will consume a lot of my genuine energy. I have to finish it fast. This is the moment. Desperate move one flash. Damn it. I was so close. But the speed of the purple underworld thunder body is already at its limit. I can neither change my trajectory nor get any closer to him, a flash of the sword. While I can't move at the speed of lightning on the heaven and earth board, her trajectory can only go in a straight line and is easy to predict. As long as I can get my sword out faster than the speed of lightning I can avoid and hit her. Cha! Crackling. This sword won't take your life. But it can make your profound lightning Dao Yun deplete quicker. It's been a long time since you activated this purple underworld thunder body, and your own true essence is almost consumed. Under such a lapse of time, you cannot maintain this purple underworld thunder body you shouldn't have forced me to draw my sword. You are pretty good, but if I was careful, I wouldn't have lost. I've still got a great trick that I can't use right now. Frustrating. Chaotic heart thunder, right? The most powerful thing about Profound Thunder God Divine Tao is not the Purple Underworld Thunder Body, but rather, the Chaos Heart Thunder only the Chaos Heart Thunder can bring the Tao Yun to its full potential, but even that wouldn't work on me. You. He already beat me, but he is still so aggressive. That's just bullying. This stinky feeling is the same as Jiang Jingyi. Humph. But it didn't look like he was as annoying as Jiang Jingyi, but rather somewhat pleasant to the eye. Hua Tianming wins. Geez, how did that even happen? I don't think anyone could have imagined that Hua Tianming would win. The gamblers who bet against him in the game must have lost all their money. Not only that. When he won that, the situation on the field changed as well. You see, on the chessboard of heaven and earth, the big dragon, which white built up with such difficulty, has now been overtaken by black. And now black has the upper hand on the chessboard. If the evolution on the chessboard of heaven and earth symbolizes the destiny of today's universe, what does it mean for Hua Tianming to defeat Luo Shishuan of the Celestial Clan? And now the various pieces are cluttered, each in its own way. Brother Luo Zheng, I look forward to my fight with you. Likewise, Brother Tianming. It turns out that the opponent Hua Tianming wanted to draw his sword against was Luo Zheng. If these two are going to have a real match, it's definitely going to be interesting to see. This match, Jiang Jingyi wins. I surrender. Human martial artist Lai Qianhan wins. Ji Luoxue wins. The situation on the field is getting more and more complicated, and more and more martial artists are getting eliminated. Next, it's... It's an elimination match. Who's my opponent? It's me. Don't be nervous. That Luo Zheng may have some skills, but he can't be your opponent. 
Indeed. That guy is just taking advantage of the holy spear. As far as I know, you are not afraid of such methods. My sister's opponent is actually Luo Zhang. This is not good. This woman should be from the same family as Ji Nan. But looking at her, she seems very shy and nervous. Hello there. Hello. That's you. Do you like peach blossoms? What did she ask me? What's wrong with this woman? What's the point of asking that? And why is she so shy? The flowers that fall are like red rain. It's so beautiful. I like it. That's why I want to share something with you. Me too. Share what? My dream. What a realistic dream. I used to think that Dream Battlefield was a dream itself. It was only after a while that I learned that these great realms were imaginary spaces made by heaven. But can the dream of the woman in front of me really be so realistic? What's she up to? Either way, I have already stepped into her dream and it's definitely not a good start. Isn't it beautiful? Are you talking about the people or the peach blossoms? Hey. The peach blossoms, naturally. How nice it is to be in this dream all the time. It's beautiful, but after all, it's just a dream. So, why should I linger in an illusion? But you have no other choice. Not necessarily. She actually stopped the Holy Spear of Slaughter, one of the strongest weapons in the universe, with one finger. Pure strength is useless. Power of 10,000 dragon scales. One thought without a turn. I can control everything within this jade dreams cape. You won't be my match in this dream. Pure strength attacks have no effect. If I don't break out of this jade dreams cape, I'm afraid I'll be defeated. Am I going to get eliminated now? Actually, you lost the very moment you entered my dreams cape. Admit it. It's no use. You can't escape my jade dreams cape. The scenery in this dreams cape is so beautiful. I don't want blood to splash out and stain my dreams cape. You should just give up. Haha, <laughs> this Luo Zhang can only get toyed with like a rat by my Ji family's little girl. At first, I was a little worried, but now it seems like this Luo Zhang has no power to fight back. They are not on the same level. My sister is much more powerful, indeed. But Luo Zhang is not that easy to deal with if he finds out my sister's secret, I'm afraid. Your dreams are very powerful, indeed. But it is by no means flawless. You don't understand the power of the Jade Dreams Cape. Whoever enters my dream will be under my control. Luo Zhang. Don't worry, Luo Zhang won't be defeated that easily. What's the origin of this woman? She actually broke the chess piece. What's with her purple chi? It is so powerful. After the chess pieces got settled on the chessboard, they would not move anymore. How did she break the chess piece? TSK. Let me go. Let me go right now. It's not a good thing to disrupt the match. So, you'd better sit and watch it quietly. I've heard that there is a dream-killing technique in this universe. The technique requires one to sneak into the opponent's dream and kill the opponent in the dream. In this dream world, even if my mains were strong, I won't be a match for her. Dream killing technique, this is her dream. Not mine. So, how did she bring me into her dream? Thinking during the day and dreaming at night. Having more exposure to one thing during the day makes it easier for one to dream about that thing at night. In other words, when I first came into contact with her, I was quietly introduced into a dream. What did Ji Lianqing ask me before? To get me to enter her dream? Hello. Do you like peach blossoms? It's peach blossoms. That's right. This woman should have used the peach blossoms to draw me into this dream. The only way I can break this game is by finding the peach blossom that lured me in. But there are countless peach blossoms in this jade dreams cape. Which one is it? Her dreams are so real that it's hard for me to differentiate reality from the illusion. Strange. 
only Ji Lianqing is surrounded by a circular open space. Most peach blossoms will just deflect away from her when they drift to her side. These peach blossoms should belong to the dream's cape. Only this one piece of peach blossom seems to be always floating on her hair bun. Before the introduction of the Jade Dreams Cape, I had not seen it. So, this should be it. If I cut off this peach blossom, maybe I'll win. It's over. Your physical body is very special. It's probably as strong as a first grade divine artifact. It's a pity you met me. Zhang. Don't worry. The dream killing technique does not really harm the physical body. Although Luo Zhang was injured in the dream, in reality, he should be fine and return to his normal self. But if he gets killed in the dream, there is a chance that his soul will shatter into pieces. This, alas, Ji Lianqing is so cruel and murderous in her dreams. We were once deceived by her shy appearance as well. Actually, you can admit defeat. I still have a good heart and can't stand to see other people bleed or cry. Bloodshed is inevitable. And tears aren't necessary. Sister Lianqing, I'm afraid you're going to lose. This is not good. What? Sister Nan must be joking. I'd like to see you in tears. Don't die trying, okay? In this dream, she is the absolute master, both in speed and power. She is in a state of infinity. I must make all the moves in one go. I must act before she has a chance to react. What is Luo Jing doing? With such a good opportunity, he took the sword only to cut off the peach blossom behind Ji Lianqing's hair bun. That peach blossom is cut off, and Ji Lianqing is about to lose. But that's good too. I still want to have a real fight with Luo Zhang. Pew pew pew. I lost. I'm sorry. Your dreams are beautiful, but once is enough. If I were to be led into a dream again by tears, I am afraid that I would be disturbing this beauty. I lost. Pew pew pew. Luo Zhang wins. This woman is simply too sinister. No, she can't be blamed for this. That's right. The dream god Divine Dao Wei she cultivated cannot win the game head on, but can only draw people into the game with a scheming technique. This is also a way of fighting, and it's not really about being sinister or not. What Brother Tianming said is true. Chirp chirp. What? I actually heard news about Luo Yan. I didn't expect Luo Zheng's matter to be so involved. Originally, I thought he was just another ordinary creature born in the middle of the world. I have lived for countless years in this round of Heavenly Tao, and I am only here to repair the three world tribulations, the solemn tribulation of the past, the Xian tribulation of the present, and the star tribulation of the future. As much as I hate those Buddhist guys, they really are amazing. I can only stay here and help take care of this level, and every day is really boring. The appearance of Luo Zhang surprised me very much, because that guy's thunderous roar order can arbitrarily stimulate the knowledge in the heavenly Tao at will. And originally, this rule was mine to control. The thunderous roar token was originally made by me and placed in this universe. When I made it, I gave it the rules of heaven. However, I didn't dare to put too much of the tokens out there. Because if there are too many thunderous roar orders, the whole universe will be in an uproar. I've also specified the number of times the thunderous roar order can be used. I once made five of these unrestricted thunderous roar orders and then recycled them all because of the extinction of the great world. In other words, no one else can release a thunderous roar order without restrictions. That's why I was so surprised to hear Luo Jing use the infinite thunderous roar order. I tried to block the creation of sound while he was telling the story, but it didn't work. I'm curious as to how he did it. Unless, Luo Zhang has a higher authority of the heavenly Tao than I do. But whether I asked Luo Zhang on my own initiative or made private calculations, I never got any results. I didn't expect this to happen, ha, huh? those guys have lived too long. I'm afraid they're tired of living to make a plan like this. Should I tell Luo Zhang or not? Forget it. Let's wait until the rankings come out. 
I am sorry, Patriarch. I didn't have a chance to get my hands on the Divine Spark Plate, and I was a disgrace to our family. Ha, huh, that's it. It is indeed a great pity that you were eliminated, Lianchen. But in the future, you can still hope to achieve the Daozi. Sister Nan, how did you know? I have a hunch that Luo Zhang will not only eliminate Sister Lianchen, but that Xin Yuan Chenfeng will also be in a big trouble if he encounters Luo Zhang. Can Luo Zhang defeat Xin Yuan Chenfeng? It doesn't matter, anyway. Our G family has already been defeated, so let's just wait and see. 11 Yuqin wins. G Luoxiuo wins. It has just been eliminations for more than a dozen rounds in a row. However, there hasn't been any intense competition since a while back. It's as if someone deliberately doesn't want those Daozis to collide with each other. 100 to 50. 15 people. 13 people. 11 people. Now the only ones that left are me and Yu Qin Hua Tianming. The human race has Xin Yuan Chenfeng. Lai Qianhan. Ji Luoxue. Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao. There is also Ku Ding from the Myriad Buddha Sanctuary. And Qin Yu of the Monster Knight Clan. Demon races Gu Eijian. Jiang Jingyi of the Celestial Clan. The only ones who aren't a Daozi are me. Eleven Yu Qin and Ji Luoxue. I am not too sure about Hua Tianming's situation. However, there are only 10 Divine Spark Plates. So, who among us will be eliminated first? From the last 11 standing, it can be seen that the most promising race in the universe is the Thoughtless Gods. That's right. Li Qianhan, Xin Yuan Chenfeng, and Ji Luoxue all come from the four families of the Thoughtless Gods. Hua Tianming also ascended into the great world of the Thoughtless Gods and is considered one of them. Some of the other races have barely enough potential to make the cut, though not many have been selected. But the Human Dao Alliance is really miserable. The people they cultivated were all basically annihilated, and Luo Zhang, who happened to ascend there, is the only representative left. The races rise and fall from time to time, and that's nothing new. It's the future of the universe that counts. You see the situation on the chessboard is very delicate now. After the Black Piece strangled the White Piece's dragon, the Black Piece advanced all the way. Now, the Black Piece has the absolute upper hand. That's a problem. In this game of chess, from the beginning of the cycle to the rise of the human race, is the past with the slaying of White Piece's big dragon, the group of heroes are separated, this is present, and the very passive situation in the current game of chess is for the future. Indeed, the more disadvantaged white piece is, the more unstable and serious the disaster brought about by this crisis. Calculating it like this, perhaps in the near future, the races of this universe will experience a catastrophe. If all the white pieces lose, the entire universe may be annihilated and the era will end early. No need to get worked up. Even if we are anxious, we have no power to change anything. After all, the fate of the heavenly venerates is predetermined. So what can we do now? The true powerhouses of the universe are these protagonists born in the Great World War. Only the ones who have the divine spark plate can change the fate of this era. We'll just wait and see what happens. All right. Right. This position doesn't matter. What does it mean to put a black piece here? What a strange position. Who will be my opponent in this round? In this round, Xin Yuan Chenfeng faces 11 Yu Qin. Oh. It's the two of them. It's a bit of a delicate game. This 11 Yu Qin is very lucky. This is not an elimination round. Since she got pitted against Xin Yuan Chenfeng, she can just admit defeat. Indeed. This way, you can better preserve your strength. Miss Yu Qin, it's a great honor for me to spar with you here. I'm not going to spar with you. I'm going to give up. No way. What is it? Why do you care if I want to admit defeat? Miss Yuqin, are you aware that this heaven and earth chessboard is a metaphor for the future of the universe? Oh? Since I was a child, I have not only studied martial arts, but also astrology and divination. 
Look, this catastrophe. It's actually because of you. And here, there are three escape and one destruction, all laid by me. If it's brought out again here, it will be the link between you and me. What is he talking about? It seems to have been deduced from the heaven and earth chessboard, which I don't understand either. So what? If I'm not mistaken, the two black and white pieces that have fell just now are the two from the sky. If they are being conscripted in this way, it will be the yellow warbler with the butterfly and the double star of the peach blossom. This child is truly worthy of being the best in the world, and it is no longer necessary to fight for this great world. He is the first. I'm ashamed to say this, but after hundreds of millions of years as a heavenly venerate, I've missed a move. It seems I am not as far-sighted as he is. Ha ha. Chin Fong. I am not disappointed. I don't know what you are talking about, Doc. Goodbye. Wait. If you want to say something, just say it straight. I don't know how to do deduction of fate. This chess games doesn't only signify the world's change, but also the fate we are about to encounter. You are bound to be my pair, and the role you play in the great world shall be as my woman. Huh? Isn't Eleven Yuqin a pair with Luo Zhang? This is going to be a good show. I never thought that the Xin Yuan Chen Feng would actually confess in public. Interesting. What does Xin Yuan Chen Feng have in mind? He actually hit on my Yuqin. Did he take the wrong medicine today? I don't usually see him interested in any woman. After all, Eleven Yuqin is already taken. That's not very nice of him to say that. You're crazy. Miss Yuqin, please wait. Shut up. Although this sword is just a shadow, there is an extremely ferocious intent poured into it. Could it be? The God Slaying Sword Formation? These four swords, Eternal Vine Sword, Buddha Sovereign Sword, Double Yang Sword, Heaven Fong's Word do not exist in this round of the Heavenly Tao, but were all comprehended by me through the Formation Tablet in the Purple Extreme Realm. If you keep talking nonsense, I'm going to kill you. The God Slaying Sword Formation is the most deadly formation of all time. So, how can such a person be born in the Purple Extreme Realm? The first grade purple extreme in body, that old woman wouldn't really caught one. No wonder this woman made it this far. No wonder. All my calculations just now have a basis, and the fate is accurate. I don't believe it. Allow me to teach you what kind of misfortune is coming out of your mouth. Was she hiding her strength before? She was able to push Xin Yuan Chen Feng to such a state. Is she also a Daozi? Don't come near me anymore. I surrender. I can't believe I was pushed to that extent. Humph. That guy is really just baffling. It's just crazy talk from a crazy person. Don't take it personally. I'm not taking it personally. Don't think too much about it. I won't. But your strength is really astonishing. Hee hee. She and you on Chen Feng. If we fight formally in a match, I won't spare you. Next round, the demon races Gui Zhan versus the human races Lai Qianhan. I surrender as much as I don't want to concede defeat in this game. I'm the only finalist left in the demon clan. I'm the only one left with the hopes of getting one of those plates. The people in the clan told me that if I don't run into a Daozi in the elimination round, I can just surrender and wait for the others to get eliminated. How did this happen when Gui Zhan conceded, we thought he would surely make it to the top 10. As long as someone enters the elimination round, the one to get eliminated will save him. But I didn't expect Gui Zhan to get chosen for the match again. And it's an elimination match on top of that. For this match, the demon races Gui Zhan against the myriad Buddha sanctuaries Ku Deng. I thought I could wait for the others to get eliminated, but now I can only fight back. This little monk should be easier to deal with than that Lai Chen Han from earlier. Poison Flame. Demon Claw. Ah, ah, ah. Ku Deng wins. This Ku Deng doesn't talk much and has a very low presence. No one had ever noticed him before. Even when he had a winning streak. But I heard that this person is the reincarnated child prodigy of Ling Yin Mountain, the myriad Buddha sanctuary. 
It said that he could move around when he was a fetus. Started practicing when he was only three months old. And break the innate life at the age of one year old. No wonder he also has the power to crush a Daozi. How did this happen? The only Daozi of our demon race. He was just one step away from getting the divine spark plate and got eliminated right then. Now all of them are humans except for Chingyu, who was from Demon Knight Tribe. How can we be happy with that? Arg. I'm going to disrupt their game by yelling at the top of my lungs with a thunderous roar order. Damn it. Since Gue Zhan got eliminated, now only ten of us are left. We can all get the divine spark plate, and all that's left is the battle for the rankings. Fortunately, you haven't got eliminated. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Same year. It seems that Luo Zhang can stand in front of me with only a little bit of good luck. And the holy spear of slaughter of the monster knight clan is in his hand. The man who forged this gun certainly had some ideas. Combining the strengths of the two woods to maximize their power. However, the four sacred trees are huge. This is only a section of the four sacred trees, after all. But it is a bit spiritual nonetheless. The weapons born in this round of heavenly Tao are inherently deficient. The sacred tree root was born outside the wall of desolation, absorbing endless chaos. If it loses the nurturing of the chi of chaos, the sacred tree will become nothing but rotten wood. He he he. Don't worry about killing him. Let him know what the real difference is. Great. It seems that these two have a prior history. Both of them seem to have their sharpest weapons in their hands. I think Dugu Jin Xiao Xiao has an advantage. His iron sword is at least a supreme divine artifact, and he is used to using it. But that sword doesn't seem to have a name on the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument. So, maybe it's something that transcends the heavens. Kill him, and let him see the power of the supreme treasure of chaos. Understood. I will be one with your will. Primordial Chaos returns to the Origin Sword. This is. What is that power? Although the gold law he used was only six layers, what was that gray light? What just happened? It felt as if the piece of world tree inside me was agitated. Is this agitation seemingly due to hunger and thirst? It seems to want to absorb something. Why would world tree react to this gray light? This is the breath of chaos. Didn't Master say that no one has ever successfully practiced the secret art of chaos throughout history? Has this Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao also mastered chaos? Ever since the opening of the Sea of Chaos, I have been using Chaos Qi instead of genuine energy. Chaos Qi is purer and more powerful than genuine energy and can increase the power of one's techniques. However, I just treated it as a true element and used it completely with the method of true element and not with the Chaos Qi. Neither Master nor I have succeeded in controlling the Chaos Qi. So, how did he do it? Wait a minute. This sword, although the secret art of chaos does not mention the use of chaos, however, it is mentioned that two kinds of objects can use chaos freely. One is the four sacred trees, and the other is the treasure of chaos. No wonder Dugu Jin Xiao Xiao was able to take the world by himself with this iron sword. I guess it is probably the treasure of chaos, something from the realm of God. And his method of using chaos chi is different from what I understand. He doesn't seem to have turned the chaos chi into genuine energy. Rather, it is a direct fusion with the gold law. Eight tombs flying smoke. Haha, <laughs> I'll see where you can escape to. Weren't you acting all tough in the hall of cause and effect? This time I'll make sure you have nowhere to run. This situation is not good. If this continues, I'm afraid Luo Zhang will get defeated. Dear Luo Zhang could get defeated, but it doesn't matter. Since he can already get the divine spark plate. No, I believe he will win. Is there any specific reason? No, but I believe he will win this round. It seems that she is still very confident in Luo Zhang. But how will Luo Zhang counterattack in this round? Ha ha ha. Give up already and be glad that this is not the outside world. You can keep your filthy dog's life. 
You can't lose. We haven't even fought yet. Understood. Die. This guy can actually laugh in a situation like this. Is it because he has some kind of backup? I also tried fusing the laws of metal and chaos chi and made my very own metal element unity. What? Does he also have chaos chi? And he can actually imitate my primordial chaos returns to origin sword? The primordial chaos returns to origin sword currently being used is not really a complete version. When I was at my peak, I was able to condense yin and yang. And with the yin and yang base, I was able to condense the mixing hole the gray mane, condensed with chaotic energy, emerged from the mixing hole. And after I was broken, my power fell to the bottom. Adding to the fact that Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao is only a divine sea martial artist, my power is limited. So, I came up with an alternative, which was to use the metal law instead of the mixing hole. Although the metal law is much weaker than the original mixing hole, it's still very easy to kill a divine sea realm martial artist. Because the chi of chaos is much stronger than genuine energy. Chaos is the origin of all things. If the internal world were to be constructed with chaos chi, it will become a real world. However, all kinds of weird physiques exist in this world. Yet, there is no physique that can contain the chi of chaos. There are only special magic weapons and artifacts that can contain chaos chi. For example, a sword like me. But he is just a living human being. He is just a junior at the divine sea realm. So, what makes him capable of using chaos chi? Hey, if everything is chaos, that's easy. Chaos has the characteristic of devouring. And if the more powerful chaos chi on one side, it will devour the chaos chi on the other side. This is the move that Luo Zheng just thrust out should have contained chaos chi. This Luo Zheng is also manipulating chaos. This guy is really interesting. It is reasonable to say that only treasures of chaos among weapons can use chaos QL aside from this broken sword. The old patriarch is the only one we know of who has a treasure of chaos. The supreme treasures of chaos are all above supreme artifacts and have never been listed on the Universal Myriad Spirit Monument. That is because the Universal Myriad Spirit Monument relies on the law of causality under the Heavenly Tao. In order to collect the ranking of all the treasures and to divide the ranks of those treasures, the treasure of chaos is above the heavenly Tao, and the heavenly Tao can no longer use rules to detect its existence. Just like the sword Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao, it neither exists on the Universal Myriad Spirit Monument, nor is it ranked. But it is clearly beyond any supreme artifact. Luo Zheng on the other hand, took the weapon already ranked on the Universal Myriad Spirit Monument and used it with the same effect as the Treasure of Chaos. What's going on? Could there be a sea of chaos inside this little guy? The Chaos Chi may have come from his body. How is this possible? Chaos can only be contained within a weapon. Human body can't do that. How could Luo Zhang possess the Sea of Chaos? Perhaps there are mysteries that we don't understand yet, and it's better to wait and see what happens. In that instant I fought him, I felt something that only a weapon can have. I suddenly understood why I am able to use and work with chaos energy. It's because my body is also a weapon. No wonder Master said that no one had ever succeeded in cultivating the secret art of chaos. It's because this is not something that humans can practice at all. Wait. Wait, wait, wait for what? Where in the world does the chaos chi you use come from? I picked it up. This involves the secret of my physical body, as well as masters the secret art of chaos. How could I tell him easily? No, I can never lose. I had been with my former master for tens of billions of years. It was my master who died in the Battle of Spirit Mountain, and I was badly damaged. My goal now is to let Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao continue to grow, take me back to the realm of gods to repair me, and finally complete my revenge. That's why I came here at such a huge price. Until now. It seemed like there was only one way to go. Did you really think you've won? No way. 
This sword can actually defend itself against enemies. Wow! What method did Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao use? He can actually control the sword with his senses. I think that Dugu guy fainted. How can he use his senses? Something's wrong. Why do I feel like the sword is the main character? That sword is sentient and is beyond this round of the heavenly Tao. It's a pity that I couldn't subdue it first. It always chooses its own master and not the other way around. If it can't do that, it will choose to seal itself and become a piece of scrap metal. Pew pew pew. Metal essence returns to origin. This Tao essence may be in a state of great decline, but it is a complete Tao essence nonetheless. Far more than being comparable to the Tao essence of those Deos. Patience, patience. The breath emitted from the sword can actually break the dragon tendons attached to the surface of the hilt. This iron sword. How powerful is it exactly? Amidba. I am afraid that this sword has completely surpassed the rules of heaven and that I will be defeated if this continues. At this point, the only way to win is to use a different method. Found it. What? How dare you? I won't spare you. In this round, Luo Zhang has won. Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao was defeated. Stop the rule of the chessboard of heaven and earth states that you have to kill your opponent or concede defeat. If the player gets defeated, naturally, his weapon is also defeated. However, there are not enough pieces on the heaven and earth chessboard for the top 10. You will fight in cycles first. That way, no one will be eliminated. Although this round was a bit opportunistic, there are many more matches to come. So, it is a wise choice to save your strength. We lost. This. Wouldn't that mean I'm out of the battlefield? No. There's still a chance. Now, it's a cycle of matches. That's good. Finally, it's Ji Luashiu's turn to fight. Her opponent seems to be the Daozi of the Demon Knight Clan. Your name is Ji Luashue, right? What is the matter with this Daozi of the Demon Knight clan who appeared out of thin air? The look in the eyes is something that only a long-time leader should have. But why does she? Indeed, that's me. Your foundation is very solid, and if you really enter the five elements divine Dao, you will make great strides. But thanks for the compliment, but we can start now. I'm not done speaking yet. You're being rude. Humph. We seem to be from the same generation. What right do you have to judge me in such a tone? The five elements heavenly claws. The five elements heavenly claws. Even Xin Yuan Chen Feng didn't have such an easy time. Who is this Qin Yun? There haven't been any amazing talents in the Demon Knight clan for years because of the civil unrest. So, how did one appear out of nowhere? I'm not done talking yet. Are you not going to continue listening? What are you trying to get at? I would like to say that your qualifications and future are boundless, but with me here, it's better to admit defeat as soon as possible. This dream battlefield won't necessarily end here. However, it would be my sin to strike a good sapling's body and mind. Talking to our family's Luashiwe in such a tone. She probably thinks of herself as some sort of a big shot. Before the starting of Dream Battlefield, Luashiue brought Heishiue into the sacred altar to practice the Five Elements reincarnation, and even when she encountered Xian Yuan Chen Feng, it was a 50-50 match. Why that girl talking so much? Given the character of Ji Luashiue, after hearing these words, I am afraid that she won't be able to hold it in. In this great battle of worlds, there are trillions of fighters involved, each with their own goals. And I am carrying the expectations of the G family with me. Since I have already made it this far, I don't mind taking another step up the ladder. Well said. The children of the G family are very magnificent indeed. That being the case, don't blame me for this. Pew, pew, pew. Good offense. That was so fast. It was as if several people were attacking at the same time. Seven sword stabs in the matter of just a few seconds? 
Not bad for an heir to the G family. That's impossible. You don't even have the ability to distinguish what's real or fake. Bro, can you really become a Daozi like this? Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Faced with a million reincarnations of me. How long do you think you will last? I do admit that you are a formidable opponent. But I, too, am fully prepared and won't back down. Since you did not listen to my teachings, you will only get defeated. Pew pew pew. Metal melts and produces water. Water moistens and produces wood. Wood dries and warms up to produce fire. Fire burns wood and gives birth to earth. And earth deposits produce metal. Everything in the world is covered by the five basic elements. Even your forest of thorns cannot escape the five laws. The fire that burns the sky can burn everything to the ground. Very well. The five elements do consist of fire and wood. But in the world, there will always be plants that are not afraid of fire, but rather feed on it and strive towards life. That plant is the fire immortal flower. This person can actually control the laws of life to such an extent. There is no end to it. No end to the killing. I did tell you that there is no point in us fighting. And that you might as well just skip this fight entirely and focus on your next opponent. But since you want me to play with you, keep going. Crack. Hard-eating bugs? That's a lot. This thing is ranked fourth on the strange insects list, and it's scary stuff. This hard-eating worm can silently bore into a martial artist's flesh and lurk next to the heart, sucking on their blood until it grows to a sufficient level to break out of the body. Its front pincers are almost indestructible. And it can also burrow into powerful weapons and shatter even some very powerful formations. G Family Strange There is no way to bring a living creature into the dream battlefield so either the heart-eating insects were conceived by herself using the life force or they were captured in the dream battlefield. How could she be so powerful? Humph. It really is her. She is the only one who could manipulate the laws of life to such an extent. What is the origin of this Ching Yu? Can the ancestor see it? She is the king of life of the demon knight clan Fu. Is that really true? I've heard that the king of life of the knight demon clan has been silent all these years. So, why did she suddenly appear here? Yes. She is the king of life. I've met this woman once before. This woman is very clever. And I'm afraid her ambitions are even bigger. What do you mean by that? Sun was crowned the king of slaughter and was dedicated to protecting the demon knight clan, with nothing else in mind. Meanwhile, Yao wants to control the entire clan and become the only king. In the face of the fight between Sun and Yao, Fu remained silent. That shows that her ambitions are not limited to the demon knight clan, but rather, she has much bigger plans. To enter the dream battlefield, you need to be at the Divine Sea Realm. And with Fu's strength, even if she loses her cultivation base, she will not fall to the Divine Sea Realm. Unless you take advantage of the reincarnation from the Law of Life to recreate yourself. What is she trying to achieve by paying such a huge price? In this round, Ji Luoshiue is destined to lose. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Although my sword is sharp, it can only deflect these heart-eating worms away. For someone who has mastered the laws of life to such an extent, there is no simple explanation for her origins. S. Stop with the senseless resistance. If I get rid of her first, and I bet the heart-eating worms will disappear automatically. Could it be that that is not her real body? Trying to make me admit defeat. It's not that easy. No matter where your body is, come on out. Instead of being eaten alive by heart-eating worms, I will use my genuine energy to inject the crescent blade into the chessboard, find her body, and then kill her. Let's see if I can find your body before these bugs kill me. I'm afraid the G family's supreme talent will concede defeat. Espically. Since she already gave up resisting completely. Qin Yun is also a powerful Daozi of the Demon Knight clan. And Luoshiue can't do anything to her. 
This competition is a real talent show. I'll block them for a while with the five elements protective light, but maybe I can wait longer. Crack, crack ah. No way. I can't lose yet. Swish, swish, swish. Found you. Something seems to be coming out. Not tangible? How is that possible? That's the end of the round, and you've done well. You can still catch the flaws I deliberately left. The flaws you left deliberately. I can't believe how big the gap between us really is. I lost, and this round, Qin Yun wins. Ji Luoshue has lost. I've heard that you've reached the Five Elements reincarnation. So, I guess you still have some methods left? I don't see the point in trying. So I'd rather keep it to go against you for later. Later? I don't mind. If I can meet this Qin Yun, I can help you educate her, is that stop bragging? That woman is very powerful. Ji Luoshue was so strong, but she still lost? At first, the extremely powerful Ku Ding appeared, and from the battle just now, we can say that the Daozi of the Demon Knight Clan is also heaven-defying. In the next round, Jiang Jingyi, a member of the Celestial Clan, will be taking on Ku Ding from the Myriad Buddha Sanctuary. Dash. In this round, Ku Ding wins. Jiang Jingyi has lost. It's my turn again. Who is my opponent this time? Lai Qianhan. Isn't he second only to Xian Yuan Chenfeng? Phew. It's not easy. I finally got to meet you. Mr. Storyteller, was it? In the world of martial artists, martial arts is the most important thing. And everything else is inferior. I hate people who are unscrupulous and a show off. That's why I especially hate people like you and your voice, which makes me very irritable when I hear it. Two years ago, I yelled at you with my only thunderous roar token while you were telling a story. Unfortunately, not only did it not work, but the mysterious girl even interrogated me for an hour, and I couldn't say anything back. That's why before I entered the dream battlefield, I de-iced that if I ever met you, I will take good care of you. I thought that probability was too small, but I didn't expect you to have some strength, and now that you are standing in front of me, I can say that even God is helping me. I didn't expect you to know about my storytelling as well. I'm amused. I see that you're always talking so passionately. Why don't we do a few more paragraphs here? How about I let you finish first? Well, after fighting for so long, it would be nice to hear an interesting story. I also think it's a good idea. You guys. Ha 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 ha. What kind of stories did Luo Zheng tell? They love to hear it so much. But it's a pity we can't hear the sound of the universe in the purple extreme realm. It is the legends and romances that you have heard in Middle Domain, as well as some historical stories. Hey, it's the end of the journey that has allowed you to go on so smoothly until now. A wise guy like you will be defeated by me today. A showdown of strength? That's exactly what I want. Hong 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 Hong. I don't think Luo Zheng will lose. Luo Zheng is going up against Lai Qianhan with his bare hands? That's biting off more than one can chew. I hope that Lai Qianhan loses, though. That guy is simply just too crazy. Although the Lai family is the only family among the four families that specializes in body refinement, and one of their ancestors has developed nine stars and become a true god through body refinement. The physical strength of Luo Zhang, with whom I fought before, is also extraordinary. Since you are arrogant and unarmed, then it's time for you to go die, haha. -ha. Here he comes. The power of the dragon scales. Star battle body. I'll kill you with one punch. Do you think? That punch will just smash that ignorant kid into a pulp? I'm sure it will. Especially since he dared to confront Lai Qianhan. I am afraid that he isn't aware of the fact that the Lai family does body refining and that even the demons are no match for them. There is a very special and supreme artifact of the Lai family. The hidden phoenix dragon basin, which is filled with the blood of various rare birds and animals. 
It can neutralize these blood and retain the characteristics of essence and blood, which is of great benefit in body refining. To be able to soak in this basin for an hour is a great honor in the life family, and even the head of the family is not allowed to enter. But the ancestors of the Lai family and Lai Qianhan are not prohibited. For more than 10 years, Lai Qianhan has been soaking in it for 2-3 to three hours almost every day. Over time, his muscles, bones, blood, and body have become far stronger than those of others. Among the Daozis of the various families, there is no one who can match him then. It seems like Luo Zhang will get crushed to pieces by this move. I think he might as well have used the Holy Spear of Slaughter. This punch. I won't back down. It's a good time to try the new star battle body move Dark Star. Boom. The Dark Star is a move that can only be performed by invoking the Dark Star in the star battle body. Dark Star. A star among countless in the universe. Is constantly devouring everything around it and swallowing anything that comes near it. In contrast, there is another type of star, the Annihilation Star which keeps constantly spewing matter outwards. There are as many dark stars as there are annihilation stars in the universe, and it is quite amazing that these two types of stars keep going in and out. Some powerful people even use such stars as a kind of transportation channel to cross over the many star fields as long as their bodies can bear the pressure. In the past few years, I've mastered this technique after accidentally triggering a dark star. Now that Lai's power has been swallowed up, it's time to fight back. Go back to the stars. It's not enough to bounce his power back. I have to add the power of my 40,000 dragon scales. Ethery. Zoom. Boom, boom. Rumble. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Luo Zheng wins. Isn't that too big of a difference? Just one punch and you are blown to pieces? This is the same top ranking, everyone's favorite Lai Chin Han? The one who claims to be second only to Xin Yuan Chen Fong? No way, how could this be? Chin Han is the hope of our Lai family. We have invested heavily in him. Why is the result like this? Indeed. Every part of his body, every inch of his flesh, is in the most perfect form, and he is the strongest genius that our life family has ever produced. How did Luo Zheng beat him to dust with a single punch? There is no way He Chin Han is that weak. It must be that Luo Zheng's deceitful and despicable tactics. Exactly. I am not convinced. I'm going to challenge Luo Zheng. Shut up. All of you. My son was reckless and did not take Luo Zheng seriously. That's why he suffered such a big loss. He lost the battle. He was defeated. The others have no say in this. How is that possible? I was defeated by Luo Zheng with a single punch. Ha <laughs> ha. What are you laughing at? You deserve it. You're always looking over your shoulder. You used the laws of the secret realm to trap me, causing me to drop hundreds of names. But now someone has finally taken care of you for me. Humph. For the next match, Jiang Jingyi versus Qing Yun. He he he, taste the power of my sword of justice. What? Petty tricks. Holy shield. Oh. Russell. Bang. Damn it. This is the bone-devouring flower cage. Bone-devouring water from this cage can melt almost anything. However, as long as my faith remains unshaken, the shield's defenses will be strong enough to defeat it. Crack. How did? Buzz buzz. I forgot. It's not just the bone-devouring flower cage. She still has. Heart-eating worms. Qin Yun wins. Her heart-eating worms seem to have no problem getting past his defenses. Is there a way to counter it? In the next match, Xin Yuan Chenfeng vs. Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao. Clang. After losing to Luo Zheng, I wanted to warm my way back into the game, but I ran into Xin Yuan Chenfeng again. The spear in his hand is very sharp, and the damage on my sword just keeps building up. I can use the previous move a few more times. You may not be able to defeat him, 
but it will ensure that you will not remain passive in this battle. So, do you want to give it a go? This sword is my greatest support and my mentor and helpful friend, but it is very badly damaged. Before entering Battlefield of Dreams, I was looking around for a way and an opportunity to fix it. But even after searching the whole universe, I found no reliable method to do so. I am afraid that the only chance I will have at repairing him will be by entering the God Realm, where he was originally located. So, I keep trying. Hoping that one day I can get into the God Realm and fix him. I'm worried that he won't last until I can get the Divine Tao and get into the God Realm no need. You are my most important companion and mentor. Although this battlefield doesn't really let weapons break, I don't want you to experience the feeling of getting broken. Anyways, we're already in the top 10 and have got the Divine Spark Plate. So, let's do what we can. I see. Thank you. Whatever you choose, I'll do my best to help you. I surrender. Xin Yuan Chen Feng wins. Eh. My opponent is 11 Yu Qing. Although I knew I would run into her in the middle of the contest, now that we are faced against each other, it feels strange. He, if I beat you, will I get a reward? Reward, that's right. What do you want as a reward? Hmm? Let's see. I wanted to meet Luo Zheng at the Dream Battlefield. I wanted to marry him and he agreed. And there doesn't seem to be anything I want, what about? Forget it. As long as I can be with you, I don't want anything else. Even if I could beat you. I won't make any move against you. I concede this battle. There are ten people competing with each other. And it is related to the future of universe. So, what is this woman doing? That's right. I thought Luo Zhang could force out this woman's sword formation. She ran up to him, kissed him, and then surrendered. What does that mean? He Yu Qin is so courageous. She did that in front of the entire universe. Master, was it really a good idea for little sister to just admit defeat? I am already satisfied with the fact that Yu Qin is able to enter the top ten. She does not have a strong fighting spirit and that's understandable. Not to mention the fact that there is a certain fate deduction in the battle of those ten people. Whatever step eleven Yu Qing takes is up to her. She is in control of her own fate. Damn it! The only problem is that I was too late in ascending and missed the dream battlefield. So, now, that eleven Yu Jin is taking all the advantage of the opportunity. Sigh. For the next match, Lai Qian Han vs. Ku Deng. I can't be as gullible as I was last time. I must get back in the game. Heaven splitting slash. Bang. I used my Dao Yun, but I still can't break past his defense. If that's the case, let me try it again with another punch. The Supreme Buddha's Dao. Ku Deng wins. There is always a bigger fish out there, and there is always another day. Alas, Qian Han lost again, although a Daozi's current battle prowess is high, it is nothing compared to a great power. Just like Lai Jian Han, even if he goes all out, he will only be able to fight against the Divine Transformation Realm powerhouse. But right now, these ten Daozi represent the destiny of the major powers in the universe. There is a tree in the universe called Dagomu, which takes thousands of years to take shape. If you make a cut on the trunk of that tree, it will produce a crystal of purest essence. A healing elixir. To put it bluntly, this crystal is the result that spring forth after Dagomu feels a sense of danger when its trunk gets struck by a knife. It actually secretes the crystal to nourish itself if you compare this universe to a Daigomu, then you can say that the Heavenly Tao feels the crisis in advance and immediately starts the Great War. It, then, waits for that one cut, which is the self-help method, after the crisis is over. The geniuses selected in the Great War are the Daigo crystals. The higher their ranking, the greater their responsibility, and the greater the likelihood that the forces behind them will survive this level of crisis. With Qian Han's low ranking, the Lai family might be in danger. Every time there is a crisis, countless races fall. 
there is no telling what will happen to the Lai family in the future. The first round of the recurrent battles is over, now the top five and bottom five shall be announced. The bottom five martial artists are Eleven Yurin, Lai Qian Han, Ji Luoxue, Jiang Zhengyi, and Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao. The top five martial artists are Luo Zheng, Xian Yuan Chen Feng, Hua Tiaming, Qing Yun, and Ku Ding. Now, if the bottom five martial artists can step aside for a moment, we will have a ranking battle for the top five martial artists. Who will be the final victor? I think Ching Yu's strength is higher than the other four. Among the Daozis, I only recognize Xian Yuan Chen Feng, and I've already thrown my wealth into him. Ku Ding has become a Buddha. The Tao of Buddhism is not that far behind other Tao of gods. And he even crushed Jiang Jingyi and Lai Qianhan before. Luo Zheng and Hua Tianming's strength is not to be underestimated. In the first match, Luo Zheng versus Qing Yun. She asked me to return the Holy Spear of Slaughter earlier. What is she trying to achieve? Now, will you give me the Holy Spear of Slaughter? Give me a reason to do so. There is no reason. I'm just trading with you. Uh-huh. And what do you have in exchange for the Holy Spear of Slaughter? A spirit embryo of venerable perfection. Nurtured in the pool of life and faith for countless years. For the spirit embryo, I believe that even soon will give up the Holy Spear of Slaughter for a while. This. This spirit embryo. It seems to be a product of faith from the pool of faith of the king of life. In the demon knight clan, the three kings have different pools of faith. The pool of faith of king of slaughter gathers the demon knight clan's killing intent. Ordinary people find it very difficult to approach it. And you need to have a cultivation base of a divine sea realm to get within 10 miles of the pool of faith. The faith pool of the king of life is green, and the pool water is filled with endless life force. As long as one is close, even a martial artist who is gravely injured will get healed in a short amount of time. Despite the seriousness of their injury, the spirit embryo conceived in this pool of faith is extraordinary. What is most lacking now is a physical body. The spiritual embryo bred in the pool of faith of life is indeed worthy of soon. But exchanging the holy spear of slaughter for this spirit embryo? This spirit embryo is the most suitable perfect body for someone from the Monster Knight clan. The Holy Spear of Slaughter is an amazing treasure indeed, but it is only an external object. The Holy Spear of Slaughter is only complete in the hands of the King of Slaughter. What do you need this spear for? This spear has a very important use for me. What's the use? No comment. I am just asking you. Are you willing to exchange? He, he I am not going to exchange. Ordinary demon knight clansmen can't use the power of the Holy Spear of Slaughter. Qing Yun must have another purpose. And if Sun does not have the Holy Spear of Slaughter to protect herself and defeat the enemy, even if she has a physical body, she will get killed by Yao again. Are you sure you do not want to exchange? No exchange means no exchange. There is no certainty at all. Humph. Very well. Since you do not want to drink the wine, I will let you live and die. Just the way you want to. I have always felt that the power of life is the purest out of all the powers. Because it can give birth to everything and revive the great. Her two arms seem to be completely different from each other. The left arm is white and roundish, and every inch of her skin is exuding a pale green light, permeating a strong breath of life. The right arm looks withered, emitting a black aura of death. If it was the outside world, I could take time out of Luo Zheng's life, close his lifeline, and let him enter the five celestial decays early. But there is no effect in the dream battlefield. If so, let me try this. The cycle of life and death. This Qing Yan is really Aang, the king of life of the demon knight clan. This woman came up with such a powerful technique. If Luo Zheng's mind gets caught, he will be completely finished. There are a few that have gotten past this technique, but once you pass it, there are some certain benefits. There is a sharp fine line between life and death. One side of the line is death, and the other side is life. 
we can only use that boundary accurately by controlling the law of life above the eighth level. With this move, anyone can guess my identity, but it does not matter. After all, I never cared about what others were doing. All that matters is what I want to do. Over the years, I have been watching the chaos within the clan, and I am also very well informed about Yao and Soon's grudges. Soon's is cold on the outside, but her heart is fiery, and she knows that only she will lead the clan to grow. Meanwhile, Yao is highly ambitious, but she is but a small conspirator, whose goal is to control the Yaoya clan. But I'm not interested in those things at all. Since I was a child, I have had an extraordinary attachment to the laws of life and an extraordinary sensitivity to them. It is of the greatest pleasure for me to give life and let them grow and reproduce quickly. But on the way to study the law of life, I have also had a lot of questions. Questions such as, why do living beings have the power to curse and gather into evil spirits? Why can't a martial artist live forever? Why do strong people fall into the five celestial decays? All of this made me want to find out what was going on. Although in the eyes of outsiders, as the king of life of the Demon Knight clan, I am at the top of the world. For me, personally, this position is just a starting point. Because I still have a lot of unanswered questions. Obviously, my understanding of the law of life is getting deeper and deeper every day. But, no matter how hard I try... I can't get to the 10th level of the law of life, which is the perfect state. You won't be able to achieve it unless you are a heavenly venerate who carries a certain level of destiny. I can't break the boundary between the 9th and 10th level of the power of law of life. It is said that only those who open all the 36 lotus leaves and possess the Mahayana lotus can step over the boundary. But what is a lotus flower? Why are people's destinies ruled by it? Moreover, according to the law of life, after a martial artist has cultivated to the divine sea realm, his physical body can theoretically reach eternal life. But within 30,000 years, the five celestial decays will befall them, no matter how much ordinary people study, they will not be able to cross that line. Later, I gradually understood that many of the universe's rules are actually deliberate restrictions, and the answer to this is likely to be in God's domain. The God's domain seems to have concealed a lot of things, leaving the creatures in the universe wondering and unaware. I once asked the mysterious girl, who controls the rules of heaven, with a thunderous roar token, why the true gods who crossed the line of the universe to the God's domain were all untraceable. But she completely ignored me. So, I want to get rid of the restrictions of the rules of heaven and I can only obtain the godhood by myself and go to the god's domain to find out. That's why I defied the opposition of many heavenly venerates in my clan and lost all my cultivation and talent. It took one-third of the water in the pool of faith to reincarnate to enter the dream battlefield. As for the three supreme artifacts of the demon knight clan, they are used to unlock the secrets of the BUA inheritance and unlock the law of life. Once I have decided to do something, it must be done at all costs. Whoever stands in my way, I will crush them over. Since he refused to cooperate and hand over the Holy Spear, I'm not going to be polite. What is this thing? Why is it so weird? Bang. Bang. Enjoy yourself, it's so quiet. I'm so tired. I don't want to do anything. I just want to float lazily like this. Somehow, all of my fighting spirit seems to have dissolved. And there is a feeling of dying. I have never had such negative emotions in the past. Oh no, the king of life has dragged Luo Zheng into the state of between life and death. Living beings in between life and death will fall into a very unique state. In theory, anyone in that state is both dead and alive. One step forward is life. And one step backward is death. Living beings caught between life and death will fall into an extremely difficult state and will be restrained by the fear of death. The soul will also be subjected to a great amount of damage. I am afraid this Luo Zhang is in trouble. You can keep your soul clear even after stepping between life and death. That feat alone is considered excellent. No wonder Sun is willing to follow you around, although Sun is a bit slow. She has a good eye for people. But you won't last long. 
because I can feel that you have a strong attachment to this world. And the stronger the attachment, the greater the impact of life and death on you, what's going on? It feels like everything around me is disappearing. The lines and pieces on the chessboard of heaven and earth are becoming faint and dim. Where is this place? Why am I in the sky above this endless abyss? Could it be the ability of this woman? Can't die. But the stronger this thought is, the more painful it is inside. My state of mind is almost completely shattered. No, I have to make the first move. Don't get fooled by fear. It's useless. Your martial artist's heart is indeed stable. But that is only because you have great perseverance. Unfortunately, the deeper this perseverance, the stronger your fear will be. When that fear reaches a certain point, boom, your heart will not be able to bear the fear. It will burst and you will die. This, there is a kind of illusion in the universe, the method of killing in it is very similar to Qin Yun's. It is the use of illusion to trap the opponent into it and eventually lead them to death. But her method seems neither like an illusion, nor is it like Ji Lianqing's dream. It is based on real objects. How will I be able to do it? This between life and death looks very tricky. If I get matched against her later on, how do I deal with it? Amit Ba. This atmosphere is extraordinary, but my perseverance is to sacrifice myself to the Buddha, to surpass life and death. Between life and death is not lethal to me. However, for ordinary martial artists, if they want to pass through life and death peacefully, their only choice is to break through life and death itself. Breaking through life and death. How could it be easy for a martial artist? I can't let this go on for any longer. Die. B-O-M, Hiheshu. B-A dumb. B-A dumb. Crash. It is such a pleasant sound. You have a strong heart. Unfortunately, you have an even stronger perseverance, the idea of survival. Huff. Cough. 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 Luo Zheng, you are indeed gifted. To enter the top ten of the entire universe with an age of less than thirty years. Sun does indeed have a good eye. As long as you do not fall, supporting Sun in her reappointment as the king of slaughter looks very promising, but... It is not a shame to lose while in between life and death. On the contrary, it proves that your perseverance is extremely strong. People with strong perseverance are often the most successful people in this world, so... Please give up. Back then, when I opened up the gap between life and death, I used the threat of death to evoke the yearning for life and my perseverance. If you want to break open the gap between life and death, you will have to comprehend life and death itself, but comprehending life and death in a short period of time is something that young martial artists simply cannot do. Will never admit defeat. Be a dumb. Not good. The force of my heartbeat is getting more and more intense. My entire chest is about to explode. What do I do? She just mentioned that I have an attachment. There is also the idea of survival. So, it is impossible to open the gap between life and death. If this is the case, don't insist on persevering anymore. Give me the holy spear of slaughter. I promise to help soon reconstruct in that spirit embryo. If you want me to, I can give up on this battle as well. I would have liked to say that I could also help him fulfill his wish. But unfortunately, I have already been reincarnated and my strength amounts only to that of a divine sea realm. It's impossible for me to become Yao's enemy. I just need to get the holy spear of slaughter from his shumi ring. Pew pew pew. You. Him struggling like this requires a stronger attachment and it should be easier to get a backlash. But why does he seem unaffected? Could it be that he actually comprehended life and death? That is impossible, strange. Luo Zheng's eyes seem to have suddenly disappeared, turning him into a seemingly lifeless puppet. Just what in the world happened to him? That kind of look should only appear on those lifeless puppets. But Luo Zheng's life force did not disappear fully. It is weird, isn't it? This life and death is indeed very strange and can even be used as a place for cultivation. But I don't need this kind of test for the time being. 
How did you do it? You see, all those martial artists surpass the way of heaven with their divine Tao, and so why can't I have a divine Tao which surpasses all of them? Divine Tao? Humph. What is yours then? On his body, there seems to be an unsteady sword intent. My divine Tao is. Emotion severing divine Tao. Ishan sword. Emotion severing divine Tao. Ishan sword was originally a sword technique circulated on the human level, but I didn't expect it to be able to comprehend this high. But it's just that, divine Tao cultivated by Brother Luo Zhang, isn't it forbidden this sword technique is quite powerful, but it seems to consume a lot of real Yuan. After two or three swords, his real Yuan will be depleted and won't be able to attack her anymore. What? How can it be? With dozens of moves in a row, one sword is becoming more fierce than the other and the sword intent is becoming more and more powerful. He doesn't seem to be using any true Yuan Jade or any true Yuan Heavenly Treasure, but how does he this huge amount of true Yuan? What's the matter with him? His attacks are endless. Can a Divine Sea Realm martial artist really have so much true Yuan? Note, I need to remove the cycle of life and death quick otherwise it will be who will restrict it and cannot move. Heart devoting insects. Go. Die. It's not effective against me. Eight tombs flying smoke. Humph. It seems that sword technique he is using can stop all my attack. I cannot hesitate anymore, I have to use that. Come. Wand of Enteral Life. That is the exclusive treasure of the King of Life of the Monster Knight Clan, the 32nd highest artifact in the universe, the Wand of Enteral Life. Ching Yu actually possesses such an artifact, she is indeed the King of Life. I will just use it to create some obstacles for you and finish of you quick. I still have things to do. OMG. It's the Gangfeng Lion, the Dragon Vulture, and the Disha Horse. These are all 12th level fierce beasts, each one's cultivation equivalent to a realm lord. Pew pew pew. You old geezers, open your eyes and see clearly the heavens you have been talking about. See how I break the rule and go to the realm of gods without being a heavenly venerable. Break the way. Of heaven. Yes, that is what we said to you, right? What do you want to do about it now? The limits of the heavenly Tao. The limit of the heavenly Tao, which is the biggest limit in the universe, is an absolute limit to the power of many beings in the universe. So far, only the body of a Daozi can cross this round of heavenly Tao, and for that to happen, the Mahayana Lotus must be completely opened. Only then will someone be able to cross the path and achieve the state of the true God. But how rare are the Daozis? In the past hundred million years, countless beings have been born in the universe, but not a single one of them was a Daozi. Even though this round of the heavenly Tao came, the number of Daozi is no more than ten. Even the heavenly venerates are not Daozi. I opened the thirty-three lotus leaves millions of years ago, and they have remained unchanged ever since. For the heavenly venerate, after bearings the heavenly destiny, the number of lotus leaves that can open is fixed and it cannot bloom again. Hence, removing any possibility of crossing the heavenly Tao. In fact, the person who crossed the heavenly Tao with the body of a heavenly venerate also exists, but there is only one such person in the whole universe. That is Chen Huan Jijian, Ijian heavenly venerate. However, how he broke the limit is completely unknown. The king of life of the demon knight clan doesn't carry the heavenly destiny, and she has not attained a divine Tao yellow, but she is willing to give up everything she has for a chance to reincarnate. Could it be that she has really found out something? Aang, no matter what you have found out, we will wait and see. Russell, what is she doing? In this atmosphere, I do not seem to feel any sort of strong killing intent coming from her. After cultivating the law of life to the ninth layer, no matter how hard I tried, I could not go any further. No matter which direction I go towards, there was an insurmountable limit. I know you heavenly venerates have come across it as well. But, you have failed, and I will soon succeed. Let me borrow you for a bit. What did she do to me? Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. What? Really, a shame. 
Ching Yun, she actually created the exact same me? I have seen many people do this with an illusion formation, but what she seems to have created is not a virtual image, but real life. I thought she just reincarnated Luo Zheng, but Luo Zheng's body is still on the chessboard. If that's the case, that is just a creation. Yes, there is a kind of destiny in the heavenly Tao. It is the destiny of creation. It is the tenth profound layer of the law of life. But Qin Yun is not a heavenly venerate. And she does not carry the heavenly destiny. So how could she do it? Pew pew pew. This is. No way. Even if it is a creation, there is a limit to it. When an unknown being is created by a thought, only one thing can be created in a period of time. In other words, does that mean Ng has not only broken through the ninth layer of the law of life, but also through the limits of this universe? This is the power of crossing the heavenly Tao. How did she do it? I have to go to the demon knight clan to ask for advice. Huh? Something is not right. She is indeed using the power of creation, the tenth law of life. But the heavenly crown of creation has returned to the heavenly Tao. And the staff of all beings in her hand is only the supreme artifact that provides the life torrent. Its effect is nothing more than the ability to increase the rate of life growth. This woman is a bit amazing. Huh? She dared to laugh at me? Your weird swordsmanship is indeed very powerful, G, but are you sure you can defeat yourself? Or rather, defeat ten of yourself. These things are, in the end, puppets and replicas that only listen to Jing Yun and have no individualistic thoughts of their own. So, I should be able to defeat them. Eight tunes flying smoke. Swish. I didn't realize these replicas were so powerful. How do I defeat them? What is the difference between me and these replicas? Oh no. It's the Thunder Tribulation Kill. I must withdraw quickly. Rumble fee. Rumble ee -e. Even if he couldn't be killed this time, getting struck by so many Thunder Tribulations is bound to give him serious injuries, he should understand that dealing with ten copies of himself is not an easy feat to accomplish. Fortunately, my body is tough and I have been introduced to various laws before. Otherwise, I would have been killed by myself. They want to try the same thing again? Bang. Since we both of us practice the same eight tunes flying smoke, they cancel each other out. That's why they are not able to feel my weight and can just rely on the eight tunes flying smoke to evade my attacks. If that's the case, then that just makes things much easier. Boom. Boom. As expected, the law of life is very powerful. But in the end, you can't copy everything between heaven and earth. You can only create things that are related to life. Lightly speaking, it is impossible to copy the things that are in my mind such as green dragon, divine flame cauldron, etc. As such, my biggest reliance is something they never had. Then, I can safely say that what I am facing are just ten meat slash sandbags with the cultivation base of the divine sea realm. Although the feeling of fighting against yourself is very unpleasant, these dolls that you made are really far too weak. You have a power that is not your own now that your show is over. Allow me to pull the curtain down for you. Yeah, hum hum that this time, I directly extracted 10% of the chaos chi in my body and converted half of it directly into sword intent. Constantly compressed on the sword body of the thunderstorm underworld divine sword. The other half of the primordial chaos chi is transformed into the metal law, which is then combined with the sword intent in the way of the metal essence returns to origin. I understood this trick when I was battling against Dugu Jin Xiao Xiao. It's an improved version of Divine Sword Technique. Return to Origin, Divine Sword Technique. It seems that your greatest achievement is still in the way of the sword. If that's the case, they should be the same. Do the ten of them also want to perform the Divine Sword Technique? If that is the case, the power in it would be unimaginably great. I must make the first move. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. This Luo Zheng doesn't have the body of a Daozi yet. He hasn't completely stepped into the divine Tao. 
and it is obvious from how he isn't using the Dao Yun. But that technique has already surpassed that of a Daozi's. Right? This person can control the primordial chaos chi. Dugu, if you have the opportunity, can you visit him in person? I am willing to exchange my greatest secrets with him, at any cost, all right. The source of primordial chaos chi in his body can be said to be a mystery, but if I can repair myself with the help of Luo Jing's chaos chi, my goal may be able to advance by many years. I once thought I was the luckiest person in the world, and I didn't even put to the four great family supreme talent daozis in my eyes. Now, it seems that the universe is a really pierce competition. Each opponent has the opportunity to be no less than me. I still need to work hard. Strange. Why does the power of their swords seem to be a little different from mine? The power in each of their swords only has 60% of the power of my usual Ishan sword. But why? Their cultivation and moves seem to be exactly the same as mine. So, could it be that it's because they don't use primordial chaos chi while using the move? However, the Ishan sword used by all ten of them together is six times more powerful than my usual one. That's why I can't be careless. However, I simply use the primordial chaos chi like genuine energy. Although the primordial chaos chi is more condensed and more powerful than the genuine energy, after all, it still hasn't fully utilized all of its characteristics. But my sword, through my own comprehension, has merged the metal laws and my swordsmanship to elevate the use of chaos chi to a new level. This kid is incredible. This sword skill is a method only possessed by the supreme treasure of chaos in God's domain. Shot. Crack. Boom. Fortunately, the power of that sword was offset by nine layers, and only one layer of the original power was left. It will not cause much damage to me. It's just that. The genuine energy in this Luo Zhang's body still seems to be very abundant and rich. And my puppets seem like lamps that have run out of oil. Why? Just as I expected. Qin Yu can easily replicate my physical body, but it is not a mirror image of me. Rather, it's just a reconstructed being which is. Unable to obtain Chaos QL, they can only use ordinary genuine energy. But the return to origin, Ishin Sword's consumption of generate energy is extremely terrifying. I usually rely on the primordial chaos chi in my body and change it to gen lane energy. So, they used Ishan sword like this in the fear of exhausting all their energy. It's over. Although this sword can still barely respond, it has long lost its significance. Besides, my goal has been achieved. Boom. Luo Zheng wins. Ha ha. This old man's sword being used by this kid is also a kind of honor. Unexpectedly, after those six long years, although I worked hard, the gap between me and Luo Zheng has only gotten bigger and bigger. But, still, I am genuinely happy for him. Qin Yu is considered to be an almost invincible existence. I did not expect Luo Zheng to win against her. If he hadn't comprehended the return to origin, Ishan Sword. I'm afraid he wouldn't have been a match for Qin Yu. In the next match, the thoughtless god Hua Tianming will face Ku Ding from the Myriad Buddha Sanctuary. It's time to catch up to Hua Tianming. Gong. Boom. This Ku Ding has been silent throughout the matches, but has a very stable standing in the top five. That Hua Tianming is also a popular character who defeated Luo Shishuan, the Daozi of the Celestial Clan, that's why. I don't know which one of them will win. The benefactor's desire to win is quite strong. If you don't want to win, why don't you just admit defeat? The benefactor is right. This monk also has the heart to win, but this heart is different from yours. Can you distinguish between high and low? It doesn't matter. Bang. Hum, hum, hum. That's the supreme treasure of the hidden spiritual temple, the Nine Rings Zen Staff. This supreme artifact is ranked 7th on the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument. This supreme artifact has not appeared in the universe for many years. So, Ku Dang from the Myriad Buddha Sanctuary can be regarded as the person best suited for it. Amit Ba. 
the benefactor can make the move first. Those words are exactly the same as when he fought against Lai Qianhan earlier. I remember that. Every time Lai Qianhan made a move, Ku Ding neutralized it with even more aggressive measures. Generally, when martial artists fight against each other, they try and get the first strike. However, it seems that Ku Ding's unique technique is to let the opponent strike first. Pay attention and make a plan, and then counterattack in the process of breaking the opponent. In the battle with Luo Shishuan, Hua Tianming has already shown his instant speed, and it was already extremely fast. Ku Ding knows that Hua Tianming is determined to win with his speed, but even so, he is still letting Hua Tianming strike first. Will he be able to handle it? Okay. Then, I'll be making the first move. Clink. Jingle. Pew pew pew. Hua Tianming's speed is really amazing. Each sword strike is as fast as lightning and unbearably lethal. Although Ku Ding's speed is a bit slow. It's incomparably precise, and he is able to block Hua Tianming's most lethal moves right on time. Ku Ding. Who is cultivating the future constellation tribulation. Can see moments into the future. And for that to be possible. He must be really well versed in the laws of time. Kacha. Sai. The benefactor's speed is useless in front of me. I can always make other plans. Not necessarily, is it? Crack. The benefactor's sword is so sharp. It should be a sword that has surpassed the universe myriad spirit monument. What rank is Hua Tianming's sword? It's amazing that there are weapons that are not actually recorded on the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument. If it's a sword beyond the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument, wouldn't that be beyond the rank of Supreme Divine Weapon? Where did such a sword come from? In just a few breaths, I have already exchanged thousands of moves with him. This speed cannot hurt him at all. That means he should be able to see through into the future. So even though I'm fast, he can tell exactly when I'm about to launch a lethal strike at him. Even a very occasional counterattack can be a huge threat to me. You seem to be able to see through into the future. Amitba. It is not me who sees the future, it is Mithriya. And Mithriya is the Buddha of the future. Even so, if I shatter your nine rings Zen staff, how will you stop my sword? Crack. Crack. Myriad Buddha Sanctuary Ling Ying Temple The nine rings are broken, the speed of this child's sword is indeed impossible to break, and that is normal. However, people only know that the nine rings on Zen staff can suppress the world, what they are not aware of is the fact that the Azura Daozi hid the true purpose of the rings. The nine rings are just seal, and Ku Ding is only borrowing the power of this child, now, how will you resist my sword? I am a great freedom. But I will forge nine worlds and bind them. This world is a dream bubble, and you can also pretend to be Azura. Arg, arg. Legend has it that there is an evil god, Azura. Sealed within the nine ringed Zen staff. As soon as the nine rings are broken, the user will be possessed by Azura. The rumors actually turned out to be true. No wonder the nine ring Zen staff, as the holy artifact of Ling Ying Temple, rarely appears in the world. The incarnation of Azura is also a great Buddhist precept. However, this little monk cultivates the Buddhist path and asks for the freedom of good and evil, which can be described as a free Buddhist path. But it is not restricted only to this section. Pew pew pew. Benefactor. Be careful. The Great Magistrate Staff Technique Sha Da Sha Clang Clang This Great Manjushri Staff Technique seems to zero zero be extremely strong and unstoppable. I'd better back off for now. Pew 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 After three breaths, he will suddenly go around behind me. One, two, three. He can see into the future and knows any move that I make one step ahead. This is indeed very troublesome. Looks like I'm going to have to do things a bit differently. Just now, Hua Tianming's sneak attack failed again. But that's only because Ku Ding is cultivating the future constellation tribulation and it can break the boundary of time to briefly see into the future. 
That is the unique eye of constellation of the Myriad Buddha Sanctuary. After the eyes are filled with genuine energy, the pupils will map out a certain moment in the future. Wouldn't that mean Ku Ding is invincible? Even in the entirety of Ling Ying Temple, only Ku Ding and the founder of Ling Ying Temple could master this divine ability. Ugh. People in the world only know how to boast about their knowledge, but are not aware that this future constellation tribulation also has its limitations. Take me as an example. I can use the future constellation tribulation to see the picture after three breaths and it's more clear in that short amount of time. But after 10 breaths, the picture gradually becomes blurred and the picture after 20 breaths is indiscernible. What is this situation? After 10 breaths, he seemed to have performed some kind of extremely powerful divine ability to kill me. It seems that this time, I can only take the lead. However, the image was extremely blurred, and I was not sure of his methods, so there was no way to defend myself. All directions myriad law blazing sun divine ability. Boom, 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 this little monk is actually that strong? The Buddha's Tao is magnificent. It actually has the momentum of extinction of the world. The law of life, on the other hand, has no such killing move. All directions myriad law blazing sun divine ability. Ku Ding actually managed to practice the supreme divine power of the Ling Ying Temple. The Buddha's legacy, inherited from the Myriad Buddha's sanctuary, should not be underestimated. In the Buddha's Tao, there is no such thing as a Daozi. But rather, they talk about the first, second, third, and the fourth meditation. When the fourth meditation is broken through, it turns into a divine ability. Ku Ding has already broken through the fourth meditation. So, in the general sense, he can be considered a Daozi. I guess Hua Tianming will get defeated by this divine ability. It is very strong. Indeed. Sure enough. It is the Soaring Snake Sword. The Sword of Chi Yu, Master Slash Lord of Weapons. The Best Knives. Spears, Swords, Halberds, Crossbows. And Axes were all made by Chi Yu, the Master of Weapons. The knife is the tiger soul, the sword is the soaring snake, the spear is the final kill, the halberd is the demon breaker. The armor is the bright light, the crossbow is the heavenly piercing, and the axe is the heavenly go. And this soaring snake sword is the ultimate primordial chaos supreme treasure, Chi Yu's lost legacy. I had heard that the heavenly sword diagram is the only way to unlock Chi Yu's treasure, and that the treasure is stored in the wild continent. The Heavenly Sword diagram is widely spread, but for countless years, no one has successfully cultivated it. Is he the only one who has succeeded? The Soaring Snake turns into a dragon, the Northern Star shifts, the Noble is like a dragon, the element of Grand Tao. The Divine Tao that Hua Tianming has comprehended is probably the ultimate Divine Tao of Justice, Ha. Huh? Ah, it's really annoying. Even Chi Yu's sword has made an appearance. What will happen in this round, Vivienti? Calculate and calculate. It's really difficult. I think I still can't do the job in front of me. This. What is this vision? I have seen 33 catastrophe in the sky, and I have also seen endless auspicious clouds. This pillar of light is something I have never seen. What in the world did that kid do? The noble is like a dragon. The noble is like a dragon. I am cultivating the divine Tao of justice. Although my lotus flower has fully bloomed and I have the body of a Daozi, I am lost. The divine Tao of justice he is using is like a light that suddenly lit up in the darkness, eye-catching, dazzling, and shocking. That's the ultimate divine Tao of justice. She. Hum, hum, hum. Pop. What's going on? I obviously did not see Hua Tianming using any sword moves. So, why am I feeling a huge surge of power? These water ripples were created because of rapid movements of his sword, and the speed of his moves has long exceeded the limit that the eyes can see. The reason why I used the All Directions Myriad Law Blazing Sun Divine Ability was because the scene after ten breaths was blurred, representing the uncertainty of the future. If one can fight, one might be able to change the outcome of the future. 
But now, the scene from earlier will arrive in three breaths worth of time, and I have no room for resistance. Three breaths later. The ripples will envelop me, and the moment the ripples appear. Hua Tianming will have already cut down me countless times. Amitabha. Sha. Hua Tianming wins. Ka Cha Cha. Ka. Cha. Amitba. It seems that I need to read some scriptures to calm the demons. After all, there is another opponent. This Hua Tianming is really a monster of like genius. His strength has exceeded all of our imaginations. Such a guy is likely to change the pattern of the entire universe in the future. The great world. This is the great world that's right. Ha ha. He is a martial artist at only the divine sea realm, but as a martial artist of the divine transformation realm, although my cultivation is two layer higher than his, if we were to really fight, I am afraid I will also fall under his sword, this. He really came from your cloud temple? MHM. Hua Tianming comes from our cloud temple. This Hua Tianming is a daunting opponent indeed. Oh. I want that sword. It's really amazing. I am relying on Chen Feng to teach him a lesson. To fight against me, he has to defeat Luo Zheng first. Humph. That kid, Luo Zheng, may not be able to defeat Hua Tianming. Next match. Luo Zheng. Against Hua Tianming. This moment has finally come. Over the years, I have realized my destiny. I will pierce through the world and point straight to the God's domain. And in this round of the God's domain, I only have one thing to look forward to and that is to face Luo Zheng. The person I have been chasing after. Hua Tianming. It's finally our turn to face off. At one point in time, Luo Zheng was riding high, growing so fast that I could only look up. Now, I am finally standing against him, and I am 70% sure that I can win. But I can't take him lightly. If this guy gets even the slightest of chances, he may turn defeat into victory. Draw your sword. All right. Both of them are facing each other with swords, but it is obvious that Hua Tianming has the upper hand. The Thunderstorm Underworld Divine Sword is a leader of the first-class divine weapon, barely able to reach the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument, but Hua Tianming's sword is a treasure that transcends the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument itself. I think so too. The sword that Luo Zheng used to cut Qingyu down is certainly extraordinary, but Hua Tianming can definitely avoid it. His speed is just too fast. Whoosh! Nether God Shadow. Shu! Although these shadows certainly have no effect on him, but I can delay a few breaths worth of time so that I can build up my momentum. Break. Sha. Spurt. Clang, clang. Ding, 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 you should exert more power. All right. Here I come. Ishan Sword. From the moment I comprehended the Ishan Sword, no one has ever managed to block it. But Hua Tianming can actually do. Emotion-severing Divine Dao is extremely powerful indeed, but that sword is far from enough. Then. Come again. Clang. Cling. Clink. Although the skill of Ijian is powerful, even the most subtle moves cannot resist the ultimate speed. If I can just connect a single move, I will be able to escape from Hua Tianming's lock. Cha. The sword intent that was originally condensed on the surface was actually scattered by Hua Tianming. Your sword moves are not dominating. What I cultivated is the primordial beginning sword technique. The power in the sword is accumulated by Qi Yu, the master of all weapons. It is the foundation of all sword techniques and is totally unbreakable. You can't win by just defending. Luo Zhang. Whoosh. Eight tunes flying smoke. Pew pew pew. Cut. Hang, point, thrust. His sword moves seem to be very similar to my minimal sword technique. But why? Even though I have already used the eight tunes flying smoke, I am still having a hard time avoiding Hua Tianming's attacks. I told you that this Luo Zheng is definitely Hua Tianming's opponent. He has no way to fight back. 
Neither his speed nor his power is superior. How can he fight against Hua Tianming? Hua Tianming's sword technique and my minimal sword technique seems to have some similarities on the surface. But there seems to be a hidden connotation that I can't understand. In that connotation alone, there is a connotation beyond the minimal sword Dao itself. If I consider the minimal sword Dao that I comprehended as one, then the minimal in this primordial beginning sword technique is zero. The difference between the two seems to be a very wonderful connotation, and it's an indescribable connotation at that. So, even though our movements are almost exactly the same, there is something missing in my sword. What is it? Come again. Pew pew pew. You can't break my sword moves now. The gap is too big. I have always regarded Luo Zhang as my true opponent and my most important goal. So, obviously, he should be stronger. Oh, come again. Hmm? The power of connotation in his sword is the same power as in the primordial beginning sword technique. Although it is very tiny, it's starting to take shape. Interesting, it took me almost three years to practice the primordial beginning sword technique. Moreover, that is only three years outside. Actually, in the Chi Yu's treasures, the laws of time has been modified. The rate of flow of time is 100 to 1. So, me practicing this set of sword technique over and over again in there for three years is equivalent to 300 years outside. I got one point connotation in 20 years, two points in 80 years, and three points in 150 years. It took me 220 years to get the four points connotation. And only after a full 300 years was I able to achieve the five points connotation of the primordial beginning sword technique. But Luo Zheng already has one point connotation. That is less than a stick of incense worth of time. Could it be? That Luo Zhang has comprehended the essence of the primordial beginning sword technique through my sword technique? This primordial beginning sword technique took me a full 20 years real time to comprehend and this is only the first glimpse into the door. I know that Luo Zhang's talent is extremely high. But he only exchanged a few moves with me and he already has a bit of understanding. This is incredible beyond words. Hua Tianming seemed surprised. He must have thought that it was impossible for me to learn his sword technique so quickly. In fact, the sword Dao embedded in my Ishan sword is also based on the sword Dao of minimal sword technique. The two are in the same lineage and complement each other. When I exchanged moves with him, I formed the two complementary connotations. So, it is logical to understand the underlying connotation in his sword technique. Very good. Since you intend to get enlightened, I shall share this opportunity with you. Clang. 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 Ding, ding, ding. Hua Tianming obviously has the advantage over sword moves, but he refuses to use it as a breakthrough. Instead, since he started learning the sword at the same starting line as me, he is even willing to teach me his understandings. It is really the way of a gentleman. What are these two guys doing? Their moves have suddenly slowed down. It's as if neither of them has the intention to win. What in the world are you doing? This competition is for the ranking of the great world. The more matches you win, the better your chances in the future. But they are just exchanging sword moves? What are they doing? If my guess is correct, Hua Tianming's sword technique has encountered a bottleneck him sparring with Luo Zhang should be deliberate move to pass on his sword skills. And at the same time, he must be trying to get himself to break through with the help of Luo Zhang's training. According to common sense, even if Hua Tianming teaches him directly, it is difficult for Luo Zhang to break through in the short amount of time in the dream battlefield, but it did not take long for him to be tainted with the connotation. His talent is not as terrible as it has made it out to be. After all, this little guy has the position of the Golden Sky Lord. Sai. But this kid doesn't seem to be so obedient. The old patriarch asked him to come, and there was no movement for several years. Although I am passing the primordial beginning sword technique to Luo Zheng to allow him to compete with me on an equal footing. 
My primordial beginning sword technique only has five points of connotation so far, and I hope that I can progress further in this match with Luo Zhang. The bearer of this primordial beginning sword technique is a piece of bright jade. If it is infused with genuine energy, a sturdy shadow will appear from within, holding a sword to practice. Each time it appears, it only lasts for about ten breaths. I just followed its movements, comprehended the connotation of the sword technique, and continuously practiced by myself. Inside the legacy of Chi Yu, where time has been compressed, even if you practice for 300 years, day after day, year after year, you can't learn it by just looking. Observing and practicing. That's because you have this feeling of lack of sharpening from a whetstone. Always a little short of something. If Luo Zhang can really comprehend a few points of connotation of the primordial beginning sword technique, then he will become my whetstone and I will also have a chance at breaking through. Are these two people nuts? This basic sword technique is something learned by kids who are only a few years old. Isn't it a waste of time to use these? It has been three incense sticks of time, and these two guys still haven't decided on a winner. I blame this duel for no having a time limit. These two have already exchanged thousands of sword moves. Do they still want to continue on like this? He has already realized the three points connotation so fast. I wonder. How long it will take for Luo Zheng to catch up to my five points connotation? An hour later. Four points. Two hours later. Ding. 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 Five points. Sha. Screech. This guy, what in the world has he comprehended? That is such a loud noise. It should be a breakthrough in his sword Dao. Congratulations. I want to thank you for that. You're welcome. I did it for myself as well. If there is no shield in the world that can block the sword, then what is the purpose of making this sword? Only by sharpening each other can we go further. Clangy 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 crack. Look, the pieces on the heaven and earth board seem to have moved. What does this mean? Earlier, even when the heaven and earth chessboard had been destroyed, the pieces stayed unchanged, but now... The connotation of those two is actually affecting the connotation of the board itself? Bang. Boom. Look at that. The game of chess has changed completely. This game seems to have a meaning, but I can't understand it at all. This is the Ten Kings chess connotation. What do you mean? Speak human language. This is the game of extinction. This game of extinction will probably destroy the entire world, and there will be no winner. What can we do? This game of chess is yours, right? Can't it be repeated? Chi Yu's sword had been hidden for so many years, and it has finally come out of hiding to influence the situation on the chessboard in such a domineering manner, but the game of chess is all about fate. If I forcefully restart the game, the game after that will not be accurate, and everything will be meaningless. The crisis of the great world is tough, but not necessarily desperate. So, why would such a desperate situation arise? The reason for this must be Hua Tianming. He is probably the nemesis of all the races in the universe. Pew pew pew. The chess pieces have moved again, but it looks much better than last time. Could it be possible that the reversal of the great world ultimately depends on Luo Zhang? Good. Now. You and I have broken through the five points connotation of the primordial beginning sword technique. Now we can start for real. All right. Inside Luo Zheng's body, sea of chaos, were, were. Pew, pew, pew. They have been at it for hours and the real thing is just starting, huh? Either way, at least they finally started fighting for real. These two people can really grind. Even if you have comprehended the emotion severing divine Tao, it is still not enough. Return to origin, Ishan Sword. Close. Then this time, I will seal off all your escape routes. Okay. One last shot. Cha. Luo Zheng's sword move is so strong. If he doesn't dodge it, I'm afraid that he will most likely get killed. This time, Hua Tianming is in danger. 
he was too careless. In fact, he should have killed Luo Zhang with a thunderbolt at the very beginning. My understandings have long surpassed the Divine Tao. That's why, at a glance, I could see that his return to origin, Ishan Sword, was not complete after all. It's not impossible to deal with the current connotation, you. This guy must have been hungry for far too long. He is getting more irritable by the second. The Soaring Snake likes to eat divine weapons. Especially the likes of Supreme Divine Artifact or Supreme Treasure of Chaos. However, if it is a living Soaring Snake, it may be dangerous for them to swallow a Supreme Treasure of Chaos. Because the Chaos Chi in it is a fatal threat to them. But since the Soaring Snake has been fused with the sword as a weapon spirit, there is no such concern. Earlier during the battle between Luo Zheng and Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao, it was tempted to swallow Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao's sword, and I had a hard time calming it down. The Thunderstorm Underworld Divine Sword is a good sword in the universe. But it is not comparable to the Supreme Divine Artifact. Could it be that he mistook the Chaos Qi radiating from Luo Zheng's body for the sword itself and regarded the sword as a treasure of chaos? Oh my god, that is an actual soaring snake. When the horn on top of its forehead is completely peeled off, it will be able to turn into a dragon. Legend has it that the first dragon in this world was transformed from a soaring snake. Hua Tianming's weapon spirit is really powerful. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. It was so fast, it took my sword without me realizing it. Choo choo, this weapon spirit seems to be sentient. Is this not a violation of the rules? Anyway, Luo Zheng's sword has already been swallowed and now, he only has the Holy Spear of Slaughter left. Choo choo. Spit hiss, clang, bleh, whoosh. This. What is the meaning behind this? My apologies. This guy likes eating treasures of chaos. It must have had a misunderstanding just now, uh, so, that's how it is. I don't have any weapons on hand. Should I make do with the Holy Spear of Slaughter? But it doesn't seem appropriate to use a spear for sword techniques. I have a second grade divine weapon which I can lend to you. That's good as well. Didn't you want to know the secret of Luo Zheng's Chaos Chi? Take advantage of this opportunity to get to the depths of it. Well, it is indeed a good opportunity. Wait a minute. Huh? In such a crucial competition, a second-rate divine weapon is too unfair. This sword is quite extraordinary. Although it's broken, it has a strong resilience, so it is suitable. Grab, hum. I can't do anything about you. Hum, seal. It's no wonder that when I first received this sword, I had to impart a blood sealing technique. This soaring snake, indeed, does not stop. As soon as I touched the sword, I felt a huge wave of thoughts. Although he doesn't seem to communicate with me like he did with Dugu Jian Xiao Xiao, these thoughts are still quite friendly. There must be a powerful sword spirit inside. However, it is too light and has no weight at all. It makes people very uncomfortable. Can it really defend against the enemy? So clever. It actually adjusts its weight according to my movements. Now then, let us continue. Okay. Here it comes. It's the ultimate divine Tao of justice. It looks like Hua Tianming is going to win this match soon. He had the advantage at the beginning, but it was delayed to end it at this time. Hum. This is pure chaos chi. It is unbelievable. Why is there so much chaos chi in his body? How did this guy manage to do it? Return to origin, Ishan Sword. Come on. It's time to end this. Crack. Boom. Swish. Kacha. The power from Luo Zheng's sword is enough to scare people, but this Hua Tianming charged directly towards the light of the sword. What an overbearing method. Hua Tianming is powerful to the point where he is just terrifying. This time, the number one in the dream battlefield is definitely going to be him. The return to origin, Ishan Sword, was broken in such a straightforward manner. But, let me try it one more time. You won't get a chance. Blurst. Blurst. 
If not for the fact that my body is as strong as a divine artifact, I'm afraid my hand would have been reduced to pieces. Cut. Cha. Cha. Return to origin, Ishan sword. Kacha. Cha. 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 It's such a miserable situation. Luo Zheng is being completely suppressed and he has no chance at all. I'm afraid Hua Tianming's strength might even be greater than Xian Yuan Chen Feng. There is always a flaw in the fusion of the Chaos Qi and the Metal Law in the Return to Origin, Yishun Sword. And Hua Tianming can accurately find this flaw to break the unity and use it to break my move. If I can open the 36 leaves and properly enter the emotion-severing Divine Dao, I will be able to eliminate this broken unity. It's a pity that I am not a Daozi yet. Since it's not working, I'll just use other methods for the time being. Let's see if I can suppress him. Star Battle Body, the glory of the stars. Rumbly. Boom, alas, I'm trying my best as well, but I am afraid this Luo Zheng is completely suppressed. Neither Thunder Tribulation Kill nor Star Battle Body is suitable for confronting Hua Tianming. It seems that I still have to rely on the sword. But, the return to origin, Ishin's sword still has flaws. If that's the case, let me do it again. I will try a few more times. Sha. Clang. Because of the continuous use of the return to origin, Ishin's sword. The chaos chi in my body has been depleted by about six or seven layers. How do I make up for the flaws in this move? Who? Sha. Clang. Clang. It ends right now. Activate all the dragon scales. Crack. Boom. The power of the dragon scales is not enough to fight against Hua Tianming, but I must try to find every possible way to defeat him. There seems to be a strong will that suddenly got transmitted to my mind. What is it? I may not be able to beat him, but that doesn't mean I will admit defeat. Luo Zhang's internal world. Boom. This, what's going on? Clack. Hum. I know you are not weak, but you shouldn't be so strong either. What's going on? After being pushed to the limit by Hua Tianming, the chaos chi in my body was almost consumed. At that moment, I felt a very special understanding in my heart. It was as if someone had put a thought in my mind, and this feeling. It still exists. It appeared in an instant, and disappeared just as quickly. It was as if someone was breathing in and out of my inner world at the speed of light. What is this thing? Why is the Chaos Chi getting attracted to this crystal in my body and being transformed into this shape? Also, the Chaos Chi is not under my control at all. So strange. Just now. Right at that moment, it was as if he had achieved instant divine spark. What is happening to you? This is the power that only a true god martial artist can radiate, but to actually achieve instant divine spark. It's really surprising. I have been in charge of this heavenly Tao for three generations. There is a great struggle in each Yen era. Every time there is a great battle of the world, you can always see all kinds of geniuses, but this kind of phenomenon is extremely rare, even in God's domain. Before stepping into the divine Tao, it is indeed possible to achieve the instant divine spark. This kind of divine spark is not a real divine spark, but rather only a single divine spark descent. So, it is extremely unstable. Theoretically, at that time, Luo Zhang did reach true God. But he doesn't have a divine spark plate. So, how is he able to hold the divine spark? If the divine spark is not held by a divine spark plate, it will blow up the inner world. This is quite incredible. Not bad although this power is unfamiliar, it is extremely formidable. Let me try it. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Clack. Is this also the power of the divine day as you are cultivating the emotion severing divine Tao? So, why do you have the Tao Yun of the cold mirror divine Tao at the same time? I'm not sure about this one either. However, one thing is certain. This power is of great use to me. Return to origin, Ishan Sword. Sha. 
The cold mirror Tao Yun in his body is even purer than the emotion-severing divine Tao, and it is much more powerful. In other words, his sword has no flaws. It was almost impossible for me to catch this sword. But, this is the moment I was looking forward to the most. Sha. Sha. I used the blood to break the spirit blood talisman and sacrificed the last method I obtained in the Chi Yu's treasury. In the first divine era of God, the first three days of the chaos calendar. In order to open up the cramped space, Chi Yu climbed the ninth floor of the building. Turned the soaring snake into a sword, winded the thunder divine power, released the heaven opening sword atlas and made a cut southwards. In that way, he opened 30 million of chaos in the southern divine domain. He recorded his sword technique of opening the heavens into the heaven opening sword atlas and put it in one place along with the soaring snake sword, which has the power to open the heavens. And then, he fell into a deep sleep. I set out from the eastern region and traveled through the wild continent. After several years of experience, I finally got the treasure of Chi Yu. And this heaven opening sword atlas is something I cultivated for a hundred years. But, so far, I have only comprehended half of the move. This move is called Flawless South Dipper. How beautiful, Sha. Boom. Screech. Screech. Cut. I did my best, but I still lost at the hands of Luo Zhang. However, for me, it was satisfying. In the future, there may be an opportunity for me to fight with Luo Zhang again. Until then, he will continue staying as my goal. Boom. Luo Zheng wins. How could this be? In order to make big profit, I bet a lot on Hua Tianming, and now I have lost miserably. Either way, that battle was indeed exciting. Could Luo Zheng's sword take down a Rome Lord? Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding after all, he's just a martial artist in the Divine Sea Realm. It might be hard for him to take down a Rome Lord. But, it is still possible for him to kill a Divine Transformation Realm. Brother Luo Zheng. What is it? I was afraid that it would affect our match. That's why I didn't bring it up earlier. Actually, I met Hui Yun in the Hall of Cause and Effect. I also teamed up with her to pass the first stage of the Dream Battlefield. Yuner said that she had an agreement with you before she ascended, but unfortunately she couldn't fulfill it. She is now the Holy Lord of the Yunhuang Holy Land of the Fire Phoenix Realm of the True Phoenix Clan. If you have a chance, please visit her. In addition, she also asked me to give you this bracelet as a sign of goodwill. Yuner. Unexpectedly, she was here as well. Well, if I get the chance, I will go give her a visit. With only a fifth of the Sea of Chaos left in my body, I may have to face a decisive battle in this situation. If Xin Yuan Chenfeng defeats Ku Ding in this battle, he will be competing with me for the first place. If he loses to Ku Ding, he will be competing with Hua Tianming for the second and third place, and I will be directly promoted to first place. But no matter what, I will still have to make a good plan for the decisive battle. After all, it will be a little troublesome since the Sea of Chaos is not in a complete state. Also, what exactly was that cross crystal? Although I feel a bit threatened by the appearance of Luo Zheng and Hua Tianming, I will still keep on winning. Benefactor, this little monk will be making the first move. Amidba. Azura. This time the opponent is quite strong. I am afraid I will have to take it seriously. When he fought against Eleven Yuqin earlier, I didn't notice his weapon. It turned out to be the seventh ranked Heavenly Cave Spear on the Universe Myriad Spirit Monument. It's worthy of being the number one Daozi's weapon. This time Ku Ding is in trouble. Crack. Whoosh. Pew pew pew. What's wrong with the young monk? I've never seen him so unsettled before. That's right. He's just running around and not fighting at all. What's going on? He has the eyes of the constellation. I'm afraid he's already seen it. How could this be? My Buddha heart is troubled like never before. I have practiced for countless years. In our Lingying Temple, there is an ancient glazed bell, and every time the bell is struck, six illusions and infinite reincarnations are created. 
The Buddha's heart is tempered by the test of six reincarnations. The core disciples of the monastery enter the interior of this bell every month and strike the big bell to experience the Buddha's heart. But entering once a month is already the upper limit. If you enter it frequently, the Buddha's heart will easily collapse and break. But in order to prepare for the dream battlefield, I stepped into it and rang the bell once a day for 400 days. When I left the ancient glazed bell, the abbot said the Buddha's heart had entered a state of openness and would not easily disturbed by external objects. What I realized at that time was great wisdom, great courage, and great fearlessness. But this spear of Xian Yuan Chen Feng seems to be able to put an end to my Buddha's heart. Because no matter how I circled, or from which direction I passed, the sight seen by the eyes of the constellation is exactly the same. In three breaths, I will definitely be killed by his blow. And every time I see the scene of the event after three breaths, it's like a heavy hammer hitting my Buddha's heart. It's making my chest tight. Almost there. Cough. 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 This. I am getting more confused by the second. Those two didn't even fight each other. How did Ku Ding get hurt? Could it be that Xian Yuan Chen Feng knows some sort of magic arts? After two breaths, no matter which direction I attack from, the result is going to be the same. If I force my hand, I'm afraid it will really shatter my Buddha's heart and affect my future achievements. You won't die in the dream battlefield anyway, so why not? Amit Ba. This little monk admits defeat. What? I can't believe he just admitted defeat. That little monk realized there is no point in fighting. That's why he surrendered directly. Ha ha. And here I was thinking that the Ling Yin Temple had cultivated some peerless genius. Xin Yuan Chen Feng didn't seem to have made any moves, but there seemed to be something unusual about his behavior. Just what could it be? What does Brother Hua Tianming think of that battle just now? Xin Yuan Chen Feng seemed to have just turned the spear slightly, but Ku Deng surrendered. This guy's strength seems to be extremely special. How is it special? I can't really tell. I just think his actions are strange. His actions are strange, indeed. The way he stood with his spear looked perfectly normal, but the placement of his spear, the height, the angle of the tear, all of it gave off a special feeling. It seemed like he was standing there and not there at the same time. But that puzzle will be solved very soon. Because I am about to face him. In the next match, Luo Zhang will be facing Xian Yuan Chen Feng. This match is the battle for the title of number one in the Dream Battlefield. This is the most critical battle of the Dream Battlefield. They will be competing for the first place in the future of the universe and the protagonist of the great world. The first place will be accomplished, have the entirety of the heavenly Tao reversed to them, and their luck will be greatly influenced. I wonder, which of those two will be winning such an honor? Luo Zheng can actually compete with the Daozi from the Xin Yuan family for the first place. How could Sun have such luck? If he can really win the first place, even if I press him harder and harder, I won't be able to seal him in the immortal mansion but I can't just stand by and watch him come back with Sun. What should I do? His cold mirror Dao Yun is indeed very strong, and my martial arts heart has been suppressed. Fortunately, his ability seemed to have been forced out by Hua Tianming, and he could not control it. Otherwise, my chances of winning would definitely be affected. Ha ha. Even the gods are helping me. It seems that fate sometimes has its ways. After this white piece fell, it formed a big eye, and I was the finishing touch. What a fantastic start. It looks like you are destined to lose this battle. And look over there. All of those pieces were previously played by Eleven Yu Chin. Originally, it was blocked from each other, but now it has become a red dragon momentum, and its momentum is directed to me. And your point is? If you are sensible, you should understand your situation and know what to do. Do not make things difficult for Yukin. My destiny is that of the direction of heaven. Those who obey me will prosper, and those who go against me will perish. This guy has a really thick skin. Hey, 
I don't know you well. Why are you talking about me and Luo Zheng like that? You think that you are the direction of heaven. No one is stopping you. But Luo Zheng is my husband who is in the red dragon momentum with you. Such a big man full of big words, but he can't even understand the small truths in front of him. Although the universe is big, I am afraid it is not big enough for you to lack the peace of heart. What's wrong with this Xian Yuan Chen Feng? It is clear that Eleven Yu Qing does not like him, but he is still chasing after that girl. Ha ha. If I had to say, there are no pretty girls anywhere. He is looking for the ones who are married. This, but, it's just fate. I'm telling the truth. The truth should also be divided according to occasions. Besides, the deduction of fate is only a deduction, after all. It has not happened yet. It just gives you a reference to base your move in order to move to the top. Are you stupid? Go for it, husband. Damn it. She is actually getting close to Luo Zheng in front of the entire universe. Heh, then I will stop talking nonsense. You're welcome. Hiya. He just rushed up without any tactics. Just how much resentment does this guy have? Eight tunes flying smoke. Boom. Shaw. Whiz. 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 Activate all the dragon scales. Shaw. Clang dash. Boom. Bang. To be able to resist my strike with all the dragon scales activated, this guy's physical body is also quite strong. I really shouldn't be talking nonsense with you here. It may take many years for the white life number to appear on this chessboard. But if you lose to me, you can verify it right away. Strange, is it just my imagination three every time he takes a step towards me, his aura seems to get somewhat stronger. Hiya. This seems to be the same spear he just used on Ku Deng. Obviously, I just made a move, but it made me feel as if I was on the verge of death. I felt like my soul would be wiped out, and the martial artist's heart would collapse. What in the world is going on here? What a powerful move. What I just saw after three breaths was this move. How in the world did this move manage to shock my Buddha's heart so much? If I was Luo Zhang, how would I handle it? Retreat. Eight tunes flying smoke. This move does not contain any Dao Yun, and it's clear that it's not a powerful move. So, why? This spear ah. Uh, it is the same feeling. It must be crushed immediately. Ishan sword. Crack. Crash. Crash. The Ishan sword was actually shattered by the spear on. How is that possible? Although the sword on has color, it is actually the light refracted after the sword intent has been condensed to a certain point. But the sword on itself has no form. It's like a cloud of air. So, how can it break the air itself? Ha 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 ha. I'm afraid this kid is going to have a meltdown. What an overbearing move. It was actually able to shatter the sword on directly. Damn it. Return to origin, Ishan sword. Swish dash. Cracks. Shot. Spur art. This, the power of this spear is too terrifying. If he actually manages to hit me, won't my entire body break into pieces? This spear is indeed incredible, and it also seems to contain some very peculiar characteristics. There is actually such a miraculous spear in this world. Luo Zheng definitely avoided that spear, but he still got injured. How does that feel? That strange feeling is getting more and more intense. The swinging range of the spear's tip. The position where Xian Yuan Chen Feng is standing, the direction his feet are stepping towards, it looks normal, but it's far too normal, giving a strange savory feeling. Maybe I should attack more actively to find if there are any flaws. Although the purple spear on he shot can deflect to some extent, it does not seem to have the ability to follow and go around. Swoosh! 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 Earlier, Ku Ding went running around ten times like this and admitted defeat soon after. Could it be possible that you, Luo Zhang, also intend to give up? Have you finished circling around yet? Don't struggle unnecessarily. 
If you can find any flaws, I will write Xian Yuan backwards. It's useless for Luo Zheng to stall time. Earlier, Ku Ding went around like that and as a result, he lost. I guess he is at his wit's end. And is too embarrassed to admit defeat. Have you figured it out? Hey. Will you admit defeat or will you suffer death? Admit defeat? Look above your head. The one who will be losing is not going to be me. Rumble. Oh my god. Why is there a thunder tribulation? Hum, hum. Rumble. Return to origin, Ishan Sword. This thunder tribulation kill is extremely powerful. And. Coupled with the return to origin, Ishan Sword, even if it does not kill Xian Yuan Chen Fong, it will peel off at least a layer of his skin. When those two things are combined, I'm afraid that he will be completely defeated. Despicable. This guy secretly arranged the Thunder Tribulation rune. Boom, swish. His movement seems a bit strange. He seems to be stepping on a certain pattern, constantly moving in this circle, and the distance between each step is basically equal. Although this guy has almost mastered the subtleties, he can use his body skills accurately. If that's the case, he can also cut off mosquito legs with a single sword. But he seems to be overly precise if other martial artists were to get trapped in here. I'm afraid it would have been a situation of certain death, but it's a good thing that I can use the enlightenment of truth and the spear of laws. The movement of everything in the world has its own laws, and the thing that restricts the movement of those laws are the laws that are present in the world themselves. These laws have constructed everything and left loopholes. The enlightenment of truth can see the flaws in everything. So what my eyes can see are all lines and dots. This is the most essential picture of the world. The more dots and lines on the surface of an object, the more flaws it has. Therefore, the chessboard has been damaged countless times since the start of the battle, but the chess pieces have never been damaged. There are the same kind of cracks among these falling thunderbolts, so I can dodge or destroy them along the cracks. In my battle with Ku Ding earlier, I found a small round on his chest. Three inches to the right. That small dot is Ku Ding's fate point, and from the small dot many thin threads were spread out. Most of them spread above and around his heart, while some of them spread to his mind and was connected to his soul. If I aim my spear of laws at that point and hit it, I can completely disintegrate Ku Ding's soul, mind, and body. And that is what he must have foreseen to concede defeat. But Luo Zheng here seems to be a bit special. It stands to reason that the weaker the cultivation base, the more flaws one has. There are bound to be hundreds of flaws on a divine sea realm, dozens on a divine extremity realm, and generally, a dozen on a divine transformation realm. As for the realm of a realm lord, I can occasionally see only one flaw. And in case of a heavenly venerate, it is beyond the scope of observation of enlightenment of truth. But there are only four lines on Luo Zheng's body. As for the fate point, I can't even see where it is. Obviously, he is just a Divine Sea Realm Martial Artist. So, why are there only four lines of flaws? It's even rarer than that of a Divine Transformation Realm Expert. It's very confusing. Even so, with that move just now, I attacked him along his flaw and his body almost broke. So. If I manage to break his trap, it shouldn't be that hard to kill him. Crash. Break all the lines. Shush, shush, shush. Humph. Screech. You want to beat me with these petty tricks? Of course not. I can roughly see it. His movements look very random, but they do follow a certain pattern. Xian Yuan Chenfeng's movements are all measured in feet, no matter where he moves from, the final stopping position is always an integer multiple of a foot. Also, Haya. The trajectory of his movements are always straight, whether it is a linear line or a horizontal line. Ordinary people can't be so precise. A martial artist will always swing slightly when flying through the air. Sha. It is rather strange that he didn't come after me anymore. Earlier when Xian Yuan Chen Feng was being confronted by Ku Ding, Xian Yuan Chen Feng never took any sort of action. 
Instead, he faced Ku Ding with a spear, while standing in place and rotating without stopping. But every time he took the initiative to attack me, he rushed in a straight line. In that case, wouldn't he be like a crab that can only walk sideways? So, as long as I keep circling and dodging, he can't lock onto me or force me to make moves, right? Let me try it. Shush, shush, shush. Sure enough. If the trajectory of my flight is irregular, he won't be able to catch up with me or attack me. Is it because he can't lock onto me, or because this guy's attack requires a certain condition to be met? Could it be that the his spear aura must also go in a straight line and cannot track in turn? Wouldn't that mean that as long as I move in an arc, he can't attack me? Swish. Naive. He thought he was smart enough to understand that my attacks were all moving in straight lines. Unfortunately. Shao no. I forgot that vertical is also a path of trajectory. Also, I have seen this kind of light before. When I first went through a heavenly tribulation in the Divine Kingdom continent, I saw an eye. The black aura released from that I ran in a straight line without any sort of curvature. That black aura had the power to almost destroy the world. Could it be that the purple aura in Xin Yuan Chinfeng's spear has some sort of connection with the black aura from that eye? Whoosh! Die. Damn it. What should I do? It's already too late to even activate the eight tunes flying smoke. That's right. I forgot that I still had this. Bang. Was it effective? Ping. What? This mountain has no flaws at all. It's a Yuan magnetic mountain. Hugh, Hugh. The power of Yuan magnetism. Why is Luo Zheng able to refine and use this skill? It hasn't been long since I gave him the jade slip containing the G family's secret method in it. Yet, this guy has actually managed to master it in such a short period of time. This. The secret method that I created has been passed on to Luo Zheng by Luo Xue. What? Giving the secret method to an outsider is akin to treason. Luo Xue. She. Luo Xue is decisive and smart. Since she is willing to give this secret method to Luo Zhang, she, naturally, must have her ideas or goals. Thus, she will never suffer. Luo Zhang has managed to refine a Yuan magnetic mountain, and Luo Xue taught him the secret method. So, it's safe to assume that the two had a proper complete trade. On the bright side, being able to learn the refinement method of the Yuan Magnetic Mountain is also very beneficial to my Ji family. But this Luo Zheng is indeed an incomparable genius. He was actually able to refine the power of Yuan Magnetism. The little nephew from the Xian Yuan family might be in trouble. Even though he can see through the laws behind everything, I'm afraid that he won't be able to see through the power of Yuan Magnetism. After I managed to comprehend the Divine Tao of Truth, my great ancestor, Yuan Zue Heavenly Venerate, told me that the Divine Tao of Truth is the rule that sets the rules and also possesses the power to break them, but Ji Luo Xue cultivated the five elements Divine Tao just to restrain me. Right now, I can barely handle her because she has yet to achieve a higher level of mastery. But if I were to encounter an opponent who is cultivating the five elements divine Tao at the same level as me, I'm afraid I won't be able to see any flaws in him. As for the power of the Yuan magnetism in Luo Zheng's hand, I couldn't find any flaws at all. Hey! Ji Luo Xue! How come this guy has the secret method of your Ji family? This! Had I known that Luo Zhang could enter the final battle, I would have considered waiting until the end of the dream battlefield to trade with him. It seems like you can't do anything about this. So, I'll use it against you. Go. TSK. Boom. Hum. Be careful. Swish. Scrape. Not bad. Let's continue. As long as I have a chance to shoot, the next shot will be able to suppress him. I won't make the same mistake this time. Swish. The Spear of Laws. Three purities transform the void. Whoosh. 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 Swish. Bang. 
Boom. Bang. Now, it's my turn. Return to origin, Ishan sword. Die. Boom. Boom. Empty. Who exactly has the advantage now? I can no longer see the two men. This isn't right. Luo Zheng seems to be afraid of Xin Yuan Chen from spear techniques, but his big mountain seems to be able to restrain Xin Yuan to a certain degree. See you later. Clang. Sha. Cha. Bam. Spurt. You can admit defeat now. Plop. It's finally over. I am afraid Luo Zhang will be winning the title of the first. Xin Yuan Chen Feng was suppressed very powerfully, and he had almost no power to fight back. It can be assumed that even Hua Tianming is not as good as Luo Zhang. If he and Hua Tianming were to fight for the second time, I'm afraid the situation will become dire. This defeat is not necessarily a bad thing for Xin Yuan Chen Feng. According to the fate deduced by the chessboard of heaven and earth, he would have been the first place winner, and none of the variables could affect him, but then a person with no fate appeared. Alas, Luo Zhang is the biggest variable. If the fate cannot be fixed at the beginning, no one will be able to predict what the future will hold. Things have come to a dead end, and this is the only way to salvage the situation. A fragment of the heavenly Tao? So, this guy also owns a piece before, I also got a fragment at the bottom of the Tower of Sin, but I never really put it to any real use. Soon told me that the laws recorded in each of the fragment of the heavenly Tao are different, and they greatly differ from each other. I'm afraid it will require the hands of a heavenly venery to stimulate the power of this fragment. But Xin Yuan Chen Feng is. Chen Feng. Stop. What a loud voice. Who could it be? It is the Yuan Zue Heavenly Venery. He has spoken. Great ancestor, you are telling me to stop. But, I'm not willing to lose to Luo Zheng like this. The War of the Great World is certainly a huge disaster, but it's also an unimaginable good fortune. All along, everyone has told me that the protagonist of this good fortune can only be me and not someone else. However, I could not overcome this man in front of me. All the things I was told previously were like a joke. If I want to continue to maintain my state of mind, I can only use this heavenly Tao fragment. This is my only chance to achieve victory. As long as I use this fragment, Luo Zhang can never be my opponent. Even though this heavenly Tao fragment will involve the Xin Yuan family's subsequent overall plan and will present the Xin Yuan family's secrets in front everyone's eyes. But, Chen Feng, you cannot, you absolutely cannot, Pa, Chen Feng, losing this battle does not mean you will lose it all. If you can't tolerate it and end up using it, I am afraid you will ruin a bigger picture. I. Great Ancestor is right. I was too impulsive. Even if I lost to Luo Zhang, I still have. A brighter future. I, I've lost. The first place of the dream battlefield has been inaugurated. The final winner, Luo Zhang. Husband won. Great. He actually lost. This is really unexpected. The first place is actually Luo Zhang, as a matter of fact. From the perspective of the board, Xin Yuan Chen Feng should have been the first place. But Luo Zhang became the biggest variable, abruptly cutting off Xin Yuan Chen Feng's fate. Next, I will take Luo Zhang to receive the first prize. Other players can take a break. We will continue to compete for other rankings soon. Is this also a part of the dream battlefield? Perhaps this dream battlefield, itself, is just an illusion in the heavenly Tao. You can take a divine spark plate first. Is this the divine spark plate that the entire world is competing for? Why do I have a feeling of deja vu? This divine spark plate looks like an ordinary plate on the surface, but it seems to harboring an extremely solid and stable power. Earlier, the chaos chi inside my internal world condensed into something, and the appearance was slightly similar to this divine spark plate. It feels a bit weird. Could it be that the Chaos Chi temporarily acted as a divine spark plate? If I put it that way, 
Then the cross-like crystal that appeared is actually a divine spark? What are you waiting for? Go ahead and take it. Oh. Now that you have won the first place, do you have any questions you would like to ask? I can make an exception and answer three of them. Have you got any news about Luo Yin? You. Can you change the question? I don't know how many times he has asked that in the past few years. My ears were full of calluses. What is your name? Or rather, who really are you? My name is Jian Yu. I am the ruler of the Heavenly Tao. I am also responsible for this dream battlefield of this Yen era. Oh. I said so many important information, but he is not curious at all. Last question. So, Jian Yu, is there any news about Luo Yin? Side judging from the look on your face, it seems like you have news regarding her. As promised, you should tell me. Actually, it's not a good thing to tell you. But I must know. The only thing that I can tell you is that Luo Yin is indeed in the God's domain. Thank you. As long as I know the whereabouts of Luo Yin, it's good to have a goal to strive for. The God's domain is still an unreachable place for me, and to set foot there, I still need to cross this round of the Heavenly Tao. However, I will definitely make it there. In addition to the Divine Spark Plate, the top three will have their destiny changed and will be given a royal seal of destiny. Also, I should go back to host the rest of the matches. You wait here. The subsequent rankings will be soon be determined. All right. A few hours later has the second place arrived? Brother Luo Zheng. Brother Hua Tianming, you've arrived. You definitely did not let me down. It seems that Hua Tianming was able to defeat Xian Yuan Chenfeng. TCH. The third place is Xian Yuan Chenfeng. The fourth place is Qin Yu, and the fifth place is Ku Ding, huh? Where is Eleven Yu Qin? Hum. Hey. Lo Zhang. I should have known not to keep admitting defeat to the other lower competitors. Now that it's time to get the rewards, I did not expect to be so far away from him. I should have told him to come to the Purple Extreme Realm in advance. Ah, uh, no, I want to get over there. The Dream Battlefield is almost over. All right. Now that you've all received your respective Divine Spark Plates and rewards, I declare that the Dream Battlefield is officially over. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I haven't told Luo Zheng yet. Damn it, whoosh. Sha. Immortal Mansion, Hum 1. Luo Zheng, you are back. MHM. That smell is? Hum. Why are you hiding? It's nothing. I see that you are back. Strange. What's wrong with Soon? It seems like she is not the same as usual. What is your ranking? That's right. I'd like to know that too. Why don't you take a guess? Luo Zheng is very powerful. Is it in the top 10,000? He should be able to at least reach this level, although there are still many supreme talents and daozis from the major families. Uh huh, that's right. What's your exact ranking? Soon is acting different from usual. It has only been a few months since I last saw her, but her temperament seems to have changed a lot. First place. First place? Luo Jing, you are too amazing. I can't help but notice. Are you not in a good mood? Soon has the body of sword spirit and can't get sick. So, why does she have a face of someone that's sick? It's nothing. By the way, I have a gift for you. A gift? The Holy Spear of Slaughter? You, wasn't this treasure seized by Yao? How did you? When I was in the Dream Battlefield, I met Huan Ling of the Holy Spear faction. She was getting bullied by Ming Dao and was unable to escape. I defeated Ming Dao, took back the Holy Spear from his hands, and then I finally used the rewards of the Dream Battlefield to copy it into a physical object. So... That's how it is. I didn't realize that the Holy Spear faction is now in a situation worse than it was when I left. So, does that mean this spear is actually a replica? Well, yeah. But you can give it a try. 
Boom! Sure enough, Son is really the real owner of the Holy Spear of Slaughter. The aura of that spear is solid and powerful, and its killing intent is at least ten times greater than mine. I will return all of this to Yao with twice the interest. Well, give me some time. I'm sure it won't take long. All right. Just now, she was happy for a while. Why did she become like that again? Green Dragon, what happened to Soon? Green Dragon is blocked from going inside the dream battlefield, but can sense the movement in my head and outside my body. Maybe it would be better to ask him. Soon's mood is a bit complicated. You just returned from the dream battlefield, so it's a good time to make a breakthrough first by cultivating and absorbing. It's better to let her understand things slowly. Understood. Maybe she is more eager because she wants to return to the clan. I should step up my efforts. Thirteen days later. This is the Great Star Fall Tribulation. I did not expect that Luo Zheng kid to break through so quickly. Since Luo Zheng has won the first place in the dream battlefield, he is destined to be the main protagonist in the War of the Great World. It is actually meaningless for us to stay here, so... We might as well just leave, in order to avoid getting into trouble. First, it was the Great Star Fall Tribulation. Second, it was the 3000 Scarlet Fire Tribulation. And, then, it was the Heart Demon Tribulation. The last one. The Thunder Tribulation. Bomb. Ugh. Boom. Sha, sha. Sha, sha, a few hours later. The Sea of Chaos is starting to solidify. I've broken through to the Divine Extremity Realm. When I entered Fong Yun's inner world, I remember seeing land as well, but the size of her island was quite a bit larger than mine. It took Fong Yun 100,000 years just to get a primitive tribe. In my case, life is still in the most primitive form. So, I don't know how long it will take for it to evolve into living human beings. However, I have already taken the first step. God's domain the place of endless chaos. Home home. Look, what is that? There is someone who can actually open up a world in the middle of chaos. How is this possible? Since the beginning of universe, made by the creation acts, the construction of all worlds have been based around the divine realm. No one has ever managed to do this. I don't know who did this, but he might change the entire god's domain. Shah, after stepping into the Divine Extremity Realm, my cultivation has improved qualitatively, but this lotus blossom is still stuck at 35 leaves. Why is the last leaf not opening at all? I still failed to become a Daozi. I guess I still do not fully understand the techniques of the Ishan Sword. What can I do? Your Ishan Sword is nearing completion, but there is still a flaw. If you want to know more, then go to Sword Manor. Oh right. I can follow Aegean Heavenly Venerate's instructions and visit Sword Manor in order to see if I can make up for my shortcomings. If I can push my Ishan sword more towards perfection, then maybe I will be able to achieve Daozi. By the way, there is something I want to talk about with the two of you. MHM. Eh? You want to go to the Sword Manor? You can decide on your own matters. I will just follow. Soon is still acting somewhat strange. Forget it. It's better not to disturb her. I heard that the Sword Manor is in the Bayon Realm, which is very far away from here. How are we going to get there? I have this. Teleportation Command, what is that? This is an item that I brought out of the Dream Battlefield. It enabled me to move back and forth between any of the big realms in the Dream Battlefield. I replicated it but I don't know if it will work in real life. Oh. Why don't you try it out? All right. Hum. Hum, is it going to work? Swirl, swirl, swirl. It failed? But it shouldn't have. If it wasn't going to work, it wouldn't have had that effect just now, Luo Zhang. Are you trying to perform spatial movement here? How did you know? Spatial movement is not possible in here. Why? It's because the Immortal Mansion is not in this universe, but rather, in another great realm. 
This place is just a node that you created by using the gen token. The moment you use the token, it creates an illusion. So, it's safe to say that no one can invade here. The Immortal Mansion is that powerful? Where is the mansion located? You will know when you should know. Alright. Then, I'll go out of the Immortal Mansion first and give it a try again. Hum, sha. Wow, this is a miniature view of the entire universe. Each one of these discs is a great realm. I didn't expect the teleportation command to be able to do so much. Aside from these 100,000 discs, representing 100,000 great realms, there are also some thin lines extending below the discs. Those lines should be the ascension channels. There is the big world. When I was ascending, I wandered among the stars and saw millions of worlds, but it was not as shocking as what I am witnessing today. I guess the world is far more than just a million. Moreover, I also saw some great worlds which were not connected to the upper realm. Maybe it's some big independent realm, like the true phoenix realm or the purple extreme realm. These three great worlds look like the scales of some kind of fierce beast. So bizarre. In any case, with the teleportation command, I will be able to choose my location really easily. It will be more convenient to go anywhere in the future. That should be the Bayon realm. Not bad. The teleportation was successful. Let's call Muming Shiwe over as well. Hum. Luo Zhang. This is the Baiyang realm, an independent big realm. Let's find a suitable place to land and go directly to the Sword Manor. All right. Sword Manor. Sha. Gentlemen, if you want to enter the Sword Manor, I'm afraid it won't be that easy. Why? Even though you seem to be an expert at the Divine Extremity Realm and you might even be the number one among all the independent martial artists, but the rules here are very strict. To enter the Sword Manor, you must first enter the Sword Hall and get a 9-star sword tag. A 9-star sword tag? The sword token is the pass of the Sword Manor. Most of them have to be obtained in a match. You can first go to the Sword Hall to get the initial 1-star sword token. After you win a match, a star will be added to the token. It shows your improvement. You seem to already be in the Divine Extremity Realm. Theoretically, it won't be that difficult for you to take the sword token. But there are only three 9-star tokens left for this month. Looking at him carefully, it does not look like he is lying to me. It's just that Chen Huang Yijian left a sword-shaped mark on my hand a while ago. I thought I would be able to enter the sword manor with that. I didn't expect this to happen out of nowhere. Let's follow the custom, just in case. All right. Thank you very much. Martial artists who wish to enter the Sword Manor, pay 10 true yuan stones here, buy a 1-star sword token, and go inside to compete. I will buy one. We have a winner. Replace the 1-star sword token with a 2-star. Replace this martial artist's 4-star token with a 5-star. The martial artist on my left wins. Replace his token with 8-star sword token. He's just too powerful. A single sword move was able to defeat an opponent who is also at the Divine Extremity Realm. What's this guy's origin? I should be able to get the 9-star sword token today. Luo Zhang, I'm back. Have you inquired about the 9-star sword token? Well, there are only 6 sword halls that can issue a 9-star sword token. In a traditional sense. These six sword halls are equivalent to the nine ranked forces, but for the young master, it should be very simple. The nearest hall, the Qingfeng Sword Hall, is in that direction. Nice. Qingfeng Sword Hall, how come there is no one competing at this Qingfeng Sword Hall? I don't know. The auction is about to start. The nine star sword token is on auction. Let's go. It should be the last three 9-star sword tokens of the month. If you miss it, you won't get another chance. But the price is too high. How will we be able to get so many true yuan jades? The 9-star sword token has been bought? Let's go and take a look. Out of the 509 star sword tokens this month, 497 have already been distributed, and here are the last three. You can state your price. 
If you miss this opportunity, you will have to wait for another month. The base price is 100 true yuan jades. Hmm. It's so expensive. I will pay 110. 120 pieces. It is a kind of righteous act to open the sword manor to face the swordsmen from all over the world. And it also inspires the martial arts heart of the martial artists from all around. But what is this about sword token trading and auctioning? Even though Chen Huang Jian can be only be considered as my half-master, this is an insult to his name. My friend, what does auctioning sword tokens mean? Isn't the sword token obtained through the competitions between swordsmen? The nine-star sword token is the final level. How can you get it that casually and enter the sword manor? How can there be such a good thing in the world? But it's the rule of the sword manor to obtain a sword token through a sword competition. And by doing this, are you not using the name of the sword manor for your own personal gain? You must be joking. The sword manor has granted us, the six sword halls, the rights to the sword tokens. So why can't we put it up for auction? You are breaking the rules of the sword manor. Kid, this is the sword manor. As the saying goes, trouble comes out of the mouth. If you can't afford it, get out of here. Stop being an eyesore. The price of 9 star sword token is not that high. Generally, it's only 200 to 300 hundred true yuan jades. If you really want it but don't have the money. Hee hee, give me that god sea realm made you have with you. Add in another hundred pieces of real yuan jade as an extra and it will almost be enough. Cha. Fighting is strictly forbidden in the market area. If we make trouble here, I'm afraid we will be killed by the entire sword manor. Why don't we retreat first and think of other ways to grab the sword token? Soon? Who are you? Ha. Sha. Bam. Bam. This kid is really powerful. But if he makes a scene here, I am afraid he will suffer big time. The sword spirit beside him is also very special, I wonder. Where does the fierce aura in her body come from? These people spoke out of turn, imposing discipline is enough. There is no need to take their lives. Soon seems to be in a bad mood. If I hadn't stopped her, I'm afraid she would have gone on a killing spree. Young master, I took advantage of the chaos to grab two nine-star sword tokens. Let's enter the sword manor. All right. Let's go. Who is the one causing trouble over here? Divine Transformation Realm Experts. Moreover, three of them came at once. How dare you hurt my men right under my nose. I won't spare you. Hey, y'all. Uh, it's over. The owner of the Qingfeng Sword Hall has a bad temper and will definitely kill those who raise their hands. Run. Even though we are simply watching. We will get implicated as well. This blue sword aura has a vague intent of breaking open the space. It is indeed a strike from a divine transformation realm expert, and the power it contains is not trivial either. But I can't show even a moment of weakness. Swish. Sha. Screech. Boom. This he is only at the divine extremity realm. Yet he can easily block Hallmaster by his sword. Doesn't that mean he is just as powerful? Could he be a supreme talent from a major family? It can't be supreme talent. Which supreme talent would want the nine-star sword token to enter the sword manor? Even the owner of the sword manor would have to come here personally to welcome him. TCH. Brother Ching Fong, stop. Brother Han Ping, why are you asking me to stop? Brother Ching Fong, don't you think that his stance is quite special? It's the Ejian sword stance. This guy is cultivating the sword techniques of Ejian Heavenly Venerate. Is he? That's right. I completely watched the dream battlefield and this person should be the first place in the dream battlefield, Luo Zhang. Strange. As far as I can remember, wasn't Luo Zhang trapped in the Northern Heavenly Realm? It hasn't been long since the end of the Dream Battlefield, yet he is already here at the Sword Manor. Even Heavenly Venerates aren't this fast. I was wondering who had come to our Sword Manor, but it turns out to be the Daozi, Luo Zhang. 
Since we didn't get any word about your visit in advance, we, from the Sword Villa, apologize for not welcoming you properly. I also apologize for my impatience earlier. I am Han Ping of the Sword Manor. Daozi Luo Zhang personally came to visit us, yet we were very rude. Oh. He is this time's dream battlefield first place, Luo Zhang? No way. Why did he suddenly come to our Sword Manor? Good thing I apologized in time. If it is Luo Zhang. I would like to exchange with him about the inheritance of the Aegean Heavenly Venerate. In the beginning, the Aegean Heavenly Venerate turned the insignificant Sword Manor into the largest powerhouse among the independent martial artists all by himself. And, over time, his sword moves have become the supreme swordsmanship of the Sword Manor. It's a pity that the Aegean Heavenly Venerate did not pass down the Aegean technique, but rather only left a poem in the Orange Sea Realm. After that, Sword Manor also sent a large number of people into the Orange Sea Realm in order to try and solve the secrets. But in the end, they all returned without success, and Aegean Heavenly Venerate's Aegean Techniques was never passed down. Unexpectedly, the Aegean Technique was comprehended by Luo Zhang, and he also used it to get the first place in the Dream Battlefield. Now that's extraordinary. I've heard a lot about the Sword Manor, but I didn't know it was this difficult to enter. Apparently, entering the Sword Manor is not based on your comprehension of the Sword Dao, but rather, the number of true Yuan Jades in your pocket. I don't know how the Aegean Heavenly Venerate will feel about this. In the future, if he returns back here, I'm afraid he will be beyond disappointed. Does he mean that Aegean Heavenly Venerate has not fallen? I have to get a better understanding on this matter. This matter surrounding the Nine Star Sword token is indeed not appropriate. I will report it to the authorities and have the matter amended. Since Daozi Luo Zhang has come to the Sword Manor, please come in the manor for a chat. Then this Nine Star Sword. I can now directly enter the Sword Villa. So, this thing is practically useless, so. These two Nine Star Sword tokens will be taken by the winner after the competition. Is this arrangement okay with you? No, no. All right then. Now that we are here, please follow me to the top floor, which is above the Jade Pearl. That's where the Great Hall of the Sword Manor is located. Oh, I didn't expect this jade bead to be hollowed out. Forming the space for the main hall. A very grand diazin. In fact, the original sword manor is in the middle of the city. This sword manor was made inside the hilt of this huge sword after Aegean Heavenly Venerate successfully cultivated. It was only then that we have the funding to make such a grand manor. Oh, we finally made it. This is the owner of the sword manor, by Feiyu. Senior Bai. Ha ha ha, you really are a heroic young man. For the past few days I was looking at you, but I was shocked when I saw your amazing sword techniques. So, please don't address me with words such as senior. I am unfitting of such praise. As the owner of the Sword Manor, there is something that I'd like to inquire about first. After hearing what Han Ping said, it seems that Aegean Heavenly Venerate of our Sword Manor has not fallen yet. Is that true? This I guess you can say that. I just said something unintentionally, I didn't expect him to take it so seriously. That is impossible. Old Master's Crown of Destiny disappeared and reappeared. It was snatched by other clans and carries a new destiny. There are already 128 Heavenly Venerates in this universe. Has our Old Master really not fallen yet? Aegean Heavenly Venerate really has not fallen yet. Regarding the issue of the Crown of Destiny, all I can say is that Aegean Heavenly Venerate's Crown of Destiny has indeed fallen and he is not a Heavenly Venerate anymore. Where is he? He has achieved true God. This is even more unlikely. Heavenly Venerates cannot become true gods. That's right. After bearing the crown of destiny, a heavenly venerate is limited by their destiny in the universe and cannot go to the god's domain. Heavenly venerates can only cultivate to the extreme within the scope allowed by the destiny and can't go beyond this limit, after all. If you don't believe me, there is something to prove my claims. 
What? This is the asking emotion sword heart. The emotion questioning sword heart, how could it be in your hands? I thought this sword-shaped seal was just a token of the Aegean heavenly venery. It looks like it is not as simple as it seems. The emotion questioning sword heart. What exactly is it? If Daozi Luo Zheng doesn't mind it, please stay at my sword manor for today. I'm afraid I won't be able to answer this question until tomorrow. Forget it. Although I am a little confused, I can wait for a while longer. Has Luo Zheng settled down yet? Well, he has gone to get some rest. Good. Sha. Boom. Swish, swish, swish. Greetings to the master. I wonder why the master has summoned us this late at night. What could the important matter at hand be? I've called all of you here tonight. So, naturally, there is a matter that must be discussed. Let's go ahead and talk inside the Sword Heart Pavilion. The emotion questioning Sword Heart has made an appearance. How is that possible? It's been many years since our previous master fell. If the emotion questioning Sword Heart could appear, it would have appeared a long time ago. Indeed. The emotion questioning Sword Heart is the ultimate inheritance of the Sword Manor. If someone had managed to attain it, they could not have waited until such a time to appear. Besides, they want to take charge of the sword manor with just a sword heart? We only recognize Master Bai. Silence. I have another news. The old master of the sword manor, Aegean Heavenly Venerate, has neither fallen nor disappeared. He has achieved true God and is currently residing in the God's domain. Ah. This, Master, where did you get this information? Did you see the old master with your own eyes? In fact, I have not seen the old master, but I got this news from Luo Zheng. The first place of the dream battlefield, Luo Zheng? Isn't he the main protagonist of the great world? What's he doing at the sword manor? Wasn't he still trapped in the northern heavenly realm? How come he's suddenly here? Be quiet. Everyone. I'm not sure whether what Luo Zheng said is true or not. After all, words have no proof. But there is one thing I and two elders can confirm as we have seen it ourselves. Aegean Heavenly Venerate has indeed imprinted the emotion-questioning sword heart on the back of his hand. Master Bai has been managing the sword manor for so many years, and he has worked diligently. How come there is someone who suddenly came in with the mark of the old master and wants to take over the sword manor? This is a bit troublesome. If Master Bai is willing, we are not sure what will happen. I, Bai Feiyu, took over the position of the master to fill the vacancy of the old master in order to take over the management. According to the words of the old master, when the person bearing the mark of the emotion questioning sword heart appears, he will be the new master of the sword manor. And now, that person has appeared, I still have this realization. But... Luo Zheng himself doesn't seem to know as he was asking what the sword heart is. He is only here to hone his swordsmanship. Will he grant our request? Or if it's the request of the old master? Humph. Since that kid has got the inheritance of the vision heavenly venerate, even if he doesn't want to, he has to accept. That's right. Since he brought the emotion questioning sword heart, he will certainly open the door, take the inheritance of the heavenly venerate, and then run away. Then again, even if he has the sword heart, he may not be able to pass the trial of the inheritance without any problems. Master, in my opinion, the sword heart is just a key. After opening that door, whether Luo Zhang can grasp it or not is a completely different matter. Why don't we take him to the slaughter sword mountain first and see what happens? All right. The next day, the slit seems to have been cut out by a sword slash. Sha. The Slaughter Sword Mountain is a very special place. We all used to leave our body and come here with our souls in order to cultivate. However, it's still unclear as to why the Slaughter Sword Mountain can sense the swordsmen from all over the universe and also let those who cultivate the sword Dao leave their soul with their own swords on the Sword Mountain. 
If I recall it correctly, a martial artist who has a profound understanding of the sword Tao has a chance to leave his own soul in the form of a sword on the Slaughter Sword Mountain. Could it be because the mountain itself is also a soul? I don't know about that either. I, too, have entered the Slaughter Sword Mountain only in the form of a soul and never in a physical body. If you want to enter by physical means, you will have to open that door and you can only do so by using the emotion-questioning sword heart. I thought we were going to Slaughter Sword Mountain. Why did we walk into a cave? Is the Slaughter Sword Mountain inside this cave? Grigrol. This. Don't be afraid. Since by Feiyu brought us here, these two fierce beasts should not pose any threat to us. These are the Tengus. They are watchdogs that guard the Slaughter Sword Mountain. I can only control them for a while. Let quickly pass by them. It seems like no one has been here for a long time. Only those who bear the Emotion Questioning Sword can enter the Slaughter Sword Mountain, so usually almost no one can set foot here. So, it's like this. The carving on this door is a thousand-foot spider. From the moment we entered the cave, there was a strange aura surrounding us and this giant door seems to be the reason behind it. It is reasonable to say that this is the most authentic sword Tao. Cultivating the sword Tao will rarely take an evil path as it will affect their own sword heart. Ejian Heavenly Venerate is probably the most powerful swordsman in the entire universe. So, why would he arrange such a door? Daozi Luo Zheng, you can head inside now. According to Old Master's explanation, in order to open the door, the person bearing the mark of the emotion questioning sword heart needs to put his hand into the mouth of that spider carving. All right. Hum. What's going on? It felt as if something just pierced my hand. To be able to pierce my artifact body, I am afraid it is a very special thing, HNGH. Don't. This is the old master's method of identifying the emotion questioning sword heart, and if you destroy this carving. I'm afraid we will never be able to get this this door opened. All right. That sharp object seems to have retracted. Creek. Phew. This is the evil chi of the slaughter sword mountain. Step back first. The door is open, and all we can do is see you off. Okay. Slap. Oh no, I shouldn't have left Mooming Shiwe outside. I should have known better and brought her inside with me. I don't know why, but I am feeling very uneasy. It was way too easy to get in here, and those people from the Sword Manor seem to be hiding something from me. Forget it. Since the door is closed, it is better to just finish Yudin Heavenly Venerate Trial as soon as possible. First, I must find the Slaughter Sword Mountain. I finally arrived at the Slaughter Sword Mountain, but all the swords are gone. The first time I came here was when I was competing against Hua Tianming during the sword competition. I had just comprehended the perfect sword intent and my soul had entered the Slaughter Sword Mountain. The second time, it was the illusion of the Slaughter Sword Mountain arranged by Chen Huang Yijian. When I entered the mountain both of those times, it was densely packed with swords from the foot of the mountain to the top. But this time, there is nothing here. And there doesn't seem to be anything special either. Evil Chi? This evil Chi seems to be emanating from the Slaughter Sword Mountain. I have to get in there and take a look. Swish, swish, swish. Sha. Is the Slaughter Sword Mountain hollow? There seems to be a deep red glow at the bottom of this mountain. Let me go down there and see what it is. What? Whale Whale TAA. Whoosh. Swish. Strange. There seems to be nothing here again. Maybe the chi is so strong that it's making me hallucinate. There is only a tombstone in front of me. Why is there such a thing inside the Slaughter Sword Mountain? What is sleeping under this tombstone? It's so strange. Could this also be a part of the test to completely acquire the emotion-severing Divine Tao? But there was no need for me to enter such a weird place to simply hone my sword's manship half an hour later. Another tombstone. It's the same tombstone from earlier. I am back to square one I cultivated the laws of space, so... I am very sensitive to the orientation of space. 
I am sure that the road I had been walking on was straight. It seems like someone has laid a maze and trapped me here. On top of that, it's a very clever technique. The evil chi is getting stronger and stronger. Have you not noticed it yet? Soon, you are out. A trap? This seems like a trap. If you don't believe me, see it for yourself. What is that thing? Ishan sword. Swish. Slash. Even the Ishan sword is ineffective against it. Not good. Give me the spear. All right. One thought without a turn. Whoosh. Boom. Hum. This thing is an evil spirit. Use lightning. Got it. Sha crackle. Crackle. Uh. Looks like lightning is effective against them. If that's the case, don't mind me. Slash dot slash dot slash boom. Sha, everything is finally cleaned up. Now. I can focus on finding a way out of here. Wait a minute, hi, 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 hi. Run. Eight tunes flying smoke. Sha. Pew, pew, pew. This time, even the lightning and the holy spear of slaughter are ineffective. It is better to just go. Strange. Why did these things condense in the slaughter sword mountain? Could it be that the amount of the evil chi was so much that the evil spirits started taking form? But what about the tombstones and space maze? Whoosh. I didn't pay attention to what that dark shadow was earlier, but it turns out to be a small fierce beast. It's reasonable to say that there are only evil spirits here, without life and food. If it can enter here, then that means it can go outside. Follow it. Maybe you can get out of the maze. Whoosh. That guy ran so fast that I lost track of him. But we seem to have gotten out of the maze as well. I didn't expect to see such a strange sight at the Slaughter Sword Mountain. How in the world was it formed? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because of the excess evil chi condensed here that Big Face and Big Head just now. I think I've seen these things before. But I've only seen them once, and there should only be one of these things. Why are there so many of them buried at the bottom of Slaughter Sword Mountain? Could it be related to the disaster of the Great World? What exactly were these? It's hard to say, right now. I just tried to communicate with Green Dragon inside my mind to ask him what's going on, but he didn't respond to me either. So, it seems like this place is indeed mysterious. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the hall in front of us. Okay, what kind of statue is this? It looks like it has been here for many years, but there is no sign of decay. It's very dark in here, and I can't see anything even with my pure eye spirit pupil. The law of darkness is scattered all around here. The light cannot travel too far. Then, let's light up a nearby wall first. After that, we can move on by touching the wall. This mural is. I've seen the fierce beast that's on this mural. The Scarlet Castle from the second stage of the Dream Battlefield had the head of the exact same beast statue at the entrance, giving people a great sense of oppression. The way it has its big mouth opened, it looks like it is about to swallow all the other creatures. The second mural. The other creatures wanted to kill the giant fierce beast. So, they surrounded it and started to bite it. But in the end, only this giant fierce beast remained while all the other beings disappeared. In other words, many creatures have fought against this behemoth of a beast, but ultimately, they failed and were wiped out by it. This incident was recorded on the mural. But, the mural seems to be completely devoid of a humanoid being. The humans can't be seen at all. Not even as spectators. The things in this slaughter sword mountain are indeed weird. Soon seems to know something, but does not respond to me. Green Dragon didn't say much either. Could it be that this temple and murals were not made by humans themselves? Crack. What is this? It is a human skeleton, and... There is more than just one. The martial artists who can enter the Slaughter Sword Mountain will never have a low cultivation base. These martial artists were strong men at least above the Divine Sea Realm. 
After death, their bones can be turned into bone jade. The bone jade can be stored for a long period of time. But the bone jade does not remain forever. It can become brittle when it loses its spirituality. If that is the case, then these martial artists died here 10,000 or hundreds of thousands of years ago. What exactly happened here? Luo Zhang. Look, there's a mechanism over there. This is a secret room, so we might be able to get out through that. Thanks. You're welcome. Why is there a sudden sense of alienation between the two of us? What happened when I went to the dream battlefield? Ka. Boom. Hey. Soon, are you there? Can you see anything? I can't. There must be something that is emanating a strong law of darkness here. Got it. Since it's too dark here, why don't I try releasing my sense of perception? Hum. My perception is also being blocked. Watch out. Someone attacked. Mew. Soon. Are you all right? Whoosh. 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 Who is it? Cha. We seem to have fallen into a trap. Step, step. Master Bai. Fifty, it was you. Where is Muming Shue? She's dead. You. Don't worry, he should be lying to you. He will not kill Mu Ming Xue in front of his subordinates. Not to mention the fact that Mu Ming Xue is not that important and that she is too easy to deal with. Right. Sure enough, you're still too young. I've said it before, letting a group of children take the lead is simply nonsense. You do not have that kind of fate. Don't say that you do. Because even if you are a heavenly venerate, you are not that fateful. I do not believe in fate. Besides, even if I do not have such a fate, it should be available in a while. This leopard-like beast is the dark shadow I just saw. He lured me here on purpose. Growl. What do you plan on doing? Do you still not understand? I have been waiting for a long time. Do you want to take my place and receive the inheritance of the Aegean Heavenly Venerate? That is the obvious thing to do. But there are some things that you just should not do as well. The inheritance of Aegean Heavenly Venerate, what in the world is it? Previously, I thought that the inheritance of Yerian Heavenly Venerate was just a trial, and that after the trial, I could make up for my emotion severing Divine Dao and the Ishan Sword, but now, it doesn't look like it's that simple. Even Soon seems to be hiding something from me. There are things you do not believe in, and they do not exist. You're just a small character in this universe. You can't change anything. But the only way to know if it works or not is by trying it. With my arrangement. There is no oversight. There is no way that I could fail. Besides, for this day, I have been studying this place for countless years. What did they inject into my body? I can't move anymore. It stands to reason that the poison has no effect on me, though the gate of the Slaughter Sword Mountain is easy to handle, that's not the case for me. I wasted a lot of time here, but luckily, the one I was waiting for turned out to be you. He he. Sha. Luo Zhang. This door seems to be exactly the same as the Gate of the Sword Mountain, but this time the spider is actually alive, HNGH. It will soon be over. What is behind this door? Sha. It seems I am able to move again, but this is. Aren't these the swords that were stuck on the Slaughter Sword Mountain? Or is this an illusion? And that corpse is. It is the Aegean Heavenly Venerate. How is this possible? He should have experienced the five decay of the heaven, yet his corpse is sitting here. But he personally told me that he had gone to God's domain. What exactly happened? This, I was the first group of people to follow Chen Huang Yijian. At that time, Sword Manor was not well known. One day, he told us that he would fight for the crown of destiny and let the Sword Manor grow into a more powerful force. No one believed him at the time. Later on, he really won the crown of destiny, and no force in the world dared to embarrass him. Sword Manor was well known in the world from then on. 
and we all asked him what made him so famous in one battle, but he avoided answering. Until one day, when he told us that he intended to turn everything he mastered into the inheritance of the sword house. Buried beneath the slaughter sword mountain. And only those who had the sword heart could open it. Me and the rest of the sword manor were clamoring to ask him what this legacy was. And who else was qualified to receive this emotion questioning sword heart, but to our surprise, he disappeared soon after. From the moment E.G. and Heavenly Venery disappeared, I tried to unlock what he had left behind. Aside from me, I didn't think anyone else is more qualified to get this. And that this inheritance should also be some kind of secret book or a magic treasure, but... What is this? Pull out that broken sword. This is corrosion. Grip. It's the clear water. Luo Zheng, don't use your hands. This water can corrode anything and everything. That's what they say, but if I just try pulling it from the small section of the hilt poking out of the water, it won't work. Let me try with this. I don't have a lot of patience. Just take it out with your hand. Otherwise, swish. Even though she is a sword spirit, her soul will be severely damaged. Ack. H and G H. Right now, I am not yet a match for by Feiyu, who is a realm master. Short-term pain is better than a long-term pain. I will unleash the power of dragon scales to pull out the broken sword. Huff, huff. It's the inheritance of the Aegean Heavenly Venery. Sure enough, only you could get your hands on it. But it's mine now. Haya. That's not yours to take. Give it to Luo Zheng. Who is it? Who the hell is it? Could it be possible? Did you set up this mechanism? Old master? Then. I apologize for having to offend you. Swish. Sha. Who is it? Who the hell are you? Who is this old man? His aura seems to be stronger than the heavenly venerate who was at the northern heavenly domain last time, but there seems to be a special affinity. Thank you for your help. May I ask who you are? I am the patriarch of the celestial clan. So, that's how it is. What's your reason for coming here? I'm here to pick you up. Before, I asked Ching Ling Heavenly Venery to deliver a message and ask you to come to the Celestial Clan. From the very beginning, you should have found a way to come to my Celestial Clan. But as for you, running around by yourself has caused a lot of troubles, too. Hee <laughs> hee, I am still very youthful. Yes, you are the last of the younger generation. You will understand it later on. What does that mean? By the way, do you know what this broken sword is for? Although this is the inheritance of the Aegean Heavenly Venerate, I can't seem to use it. That sword is a key thing that Chen Huang Aegean left behind. You should keep it safe. Now, I should get you out of here. Crack. What should we do with this guy? He's just a clown. Let him stay here. I will use the technique of fixation so that he can't move until we leave. After we get out, he will be able to move freely again. It's just that he won't be able to get out from here anymore. What about Aegean Heavenly Venerate? It's just the body of old Chen. He should have expected this day to come. Since he did not order otherwise, let him sit here. Creek. Young master, did you succeed? Nope. Fortunately, Mu Ming Xue is fine. Aegean Heavenly Venery told me that the Slaughter Sword Mountain could be used to sharpen one's sword intent and enter the emotion-severing Divine Dao. Why did I not gain anything from the Slaughter Sword Mountain? The emotion-severing Divine Dao? Ha ha. Chen Huang Aegean is a genius indeed. He has taught you the method. What method are you talking about? Evil Chi. Do you not feel any changes in yourself after being filled with the evil chi? Yes, I do. But, can this evil chi really help me step into the emotion-severing divine Dao? Hmm. Were you bitten by many small red spiders while you were at the Slaughter Sword Mountain? How did you know that? Those little spiders also have evil chi in their bodies. They pour the evil chi into your body. 
At first, they will make it so that you won't be able to move. When you become able to suppress or freely use that evil chi, you can formally enter the emotion-severing divine Tao so, that's how it is. It seems that I can only figure it out by myself. Luo Zheng Have you seen Master Biz he left moments after you entered the door and now, we can't seem to find him anymore. He couldn't have entered the Slaughter Sword Mountain, could he? Nope. The bronze door has already closed, and he may not be able to get out of it anymore. May I ask who your excellency is, and why you are here at our sacred place? Something in this universe has been triggered. So, I had to come here to take Luo Zheng away. Take Luo Zheng away? That can't be. The master, himself, said that if Luo Zheng manages to get the inheritance of the Ejian Heavenly Venerate, he will become the new master of the Sword Manor and that he must stay in the Sword Manor. That's right. Luo Zheng has the emotion-questioning sword heart and is the successor appointed by our old master. I didn't expect Bai Feiyu to be so hypocritical and cunning. He didn't plan on letting me come back alive. He wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to swallow up the inheritance of the Iran Heavenly Venerate and the position of the master of the sword manor all while showing his high moral integrity to the people. Let Luo Zheng become the master of the sword manor? Let me ask you one thing. Is the fate of the entire universe more important, or the fate of your small sword manor? The fate of the universe is, naturally, being resisted by you, heavenly venerable. Meanwhile, our sword manor does not even have a heavenly venerate. That's the problem. Sword manor is no longer important. What matters is what Chen Huang Yijian left behind. Time is running out. Luo Zheng has no time to waste here. If you delay any longer, the entire universe will be destroyed, not to mention your small sword manor. This. Let us depart. Keep up with me. Step step. Whoosh, this is the art of spatial movement. It seems to be more convenient than using my teleportation command. Territory of the Celestial Clan. The last time I asked you to come to the Celestial Clan. I was hoping that you would get eliminated and become 11th in the dream battlefield. Why? I have no reason to be weaker than others in a martial arts competition. No matter what, that would have been of great benefit to you and the entire world. We ended up replacing you with Luo Shishuan since she got eliminated and ended up at the 11th place after losing to Hua Tianming. What do you mean? Are you saying that Luo Shishuan deliberately lost to Hua Tianming so that she wouldn't enter the top 10? On the dream battlefield, each martial artist is competing for the top spot. This is the first time I am hearing about someone doing this. I was very impressed with Luo Shishuan. She possessed a Sanskrit book page, which looked exactly like the one I have. Could there be any special meaning behind Luo Shishuan's deliberate admission of defeat? Your generation is indeed very talented. But after all, you kids are still far too young. A lot of the things are not what they seem to be. The universe has its ultimate truths, and I've asked you to come here so you can learn about them, so what is the ultimate truth? 